Oh shit. It's the Yance and a Yance. I something something like Shante. Fuck <laughs> it up. You look like Shante, boy. You look like that's your name. You look like Shante, boy. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> yo, 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 it's the Mallory Bros Podcast, episode 111. You locked in with us. Happy Friday. Um, we about to push into this weekend. Hopefully, we starting it off strong with y'all. What you looking at, boy? Looking at me? This nigga look like a... What you looking like? He nigga got on this cute face whenever you get in the podcast. Okay, what you look like? This nigga dressed like Danny Glover like shit. Tan, don't st- <laughs> <laughs> he look like Danny Glover on the off day at the, na- at, the, at, the, at the game, don't he? Shout out to everybody watching the visual podcast. This nigga dressed like Moesha father. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you got this. <laughs> you that's know, perfect. That's perfect. Like shit. This nigga dressed less like Mo Eja Fall. Yeah, he could be. Yeah. Mo Eja. I'm about this. Let's Face keep it boy. Squid. He up there with Uncle Phil and them with the not black even fathers. not even close. No, Terrell, don't do that. Don't just like, that man work. You look like the nigga that was going up against Uncle Phil that came over there and was. <laughs> <laughs> Grains and small rope is that episode? <laughs> nah, Troy, don't do that. He up there with the black Mo fathers. Moesha's father is up there, yeah, but Uncle Phil is a different level. That was, I don't know why you trying to do that. Why you trying to discredit no, saying, my man? No, I'm not discrediting him. I'm saying Uncle Phil is the Okay, but the we one. saying he up there with the black fathers like Uncle Phil. We not saying he better. Calm down. Bum ass nigga sitting here looking like Danny Glover. You look like Danny Glover. You know that? That's the best thing I can do. Who you look like, boy? You look like you in law school still. You look like Tate. Me out to the ball game, head ass. You was you was pressed for a candy. You was pressed for a, what is it? Cracker Jack. Don't nobody even get that shit. Okay, but your bum ass munch, munch, munching it. Okay, well your head look like a peanut. What's your head look like? <laughs> you look like you wearing a baseball helmet. You just not really. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Mallory Bros Podcast, y'all. Um, it was a crazy ass weekend from when we left up out of here. That I'm telling y'all, that week, the week, the weekend that we just had, nah, man, was crazy. I know some of y'all that follow us on IG, it was a, it was a, it was a movie. I hate when people say that. It was crazy. Yeah, I was trying not to do too much, but I had to. Monday was like, y'all ever seen Wanted? Remember the nigga was under the, remember you get fucked up and you just go lay under that wax? Nah, yeah. Monday was my day, nigga. I was under the wax all day. And I didn't go to the gym. Him. Now, watch Terrell's movie suggestion of the week is one. Watch. <laughs> Bum ass nigga. But nah, you're right. Definitely needed that, that wax bath. I definitely don't have a movie suggestion of the week. I'm going to have one by the end of the podcast, though. No, nah, I got one. Have y'all still not seen Identity yet? <laughs> <laughs> so again. So again. Because I know y'all haven't seen it. <laughs> but um, big shout out to my boy Tez. Um, and his beautiful wife got married this weekend. We went to the wedding on Friday. Y'all know people normally get married on, like, a Saturday or Sunday. It was cool to be at a wedding on a Friday and still have the whole weekend. Nah, yeah, 100. To look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's indigestion acting up this episode, know, right? y'all. That's a reflux. You look uh, like a burp. <laughs> How somebody look like a burp? <laughs> they said Elon Musk was built like a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bet. Um, but big shout out to Tez. Um, and his beautiful wife, Trinita, they got married. It was beautiful. And I want to start there. 100%. Shout All out my man, Tez. Yes. Congratulations. Milestones reached. Yes. All white wedding. Look, you know, when you got married, it just made me think about my wedding day. My beautiful wife came down at all. I said, oh, my goodness. My life has changed forever. Look, it's not even about yeah. him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I hate people nah, do that. No, nah, yeah, that's why I said that's funny as shit. But, hey, look, all white wedding. Let me just tell y'all this nigga Terrence was struggling. I had to help the nigga out. Nah, yeah, before, because I had a, I'm going to keep it 100, when we was thinking about, when my boy Tess told me about the wedding, it was a minute ago, and uh, I really didn't think that I was going to have to have an outfit or anything like that for it. So then when he said it was a, uh, we seen him like a week or so before, he said, hey, yo, it's an all white. I don't know if y'all know, dressing for an all white wedding. That shit changed your whole plan. That shit, you got to get on your shit, you know what I'm saying? Because you normally, I don't know about y'all, if your fashionistas out there, shout out to y'all, but. I don't just have the all white ready to go fits. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you don't want to sure. wear something you wore already. Not nah, right. So I buying on cap. I bought this long sleeve, chill. It wasn't even wedding type. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I was. It was late. I said, "Fuck it. This is what I'm gonna get." 
If you would have wore what you was getting ready to wear to the wedding, you awesome. would have looked crazy out there, joint. I would have. I would have. It definitely wasn't wedding vibes, for sure. I would have just looked like I came late, hurried up and made it, dress code, you <laughs> know? And then let me say this. This man, uh, Ted, me and Ted's in the gym, worked out the whole, the whole, we did a whole workout, right? We leave in the gym, right? He was like, hey, you know the wedding next week, Friday, next Friday, if y'all can make it, X, Y, Z type shit. And I'm like, of course. You want it? I was like, bet. You know what I'm instantly thinking? I got some shit I could wear to a wedding. Yeah, I can make it next week, Friday. Fuck it. Then we going our separate ways from the cars. He about to get in his car. He was like, hey, all white. I'm like, uh-huh. I bet. I get in my car like, oh, shit, I got a shot. Damn, hell yeah. I got to find some I shit to wear. I nothing. I found some shit to wear within the last 20 minutes of when we need to leave. Yeah. I, I, I bought them shorts and I had the sneaks. Yeah. I just didn't know which top I was going to wear. It was just a, it was a rough mm-hmm. day. But hey, hey, look, let me tell y'all. When we got out there, it was 95 degrees. Yes. I ain't never sat and sweated like that. It felt like we were sitting in a sauna for real. Nah, for real. I just peeked on the inside of my shirt. I just saw streaks running down mm-hmm. like, well, I'm not going to give all the details. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm getting ready to say the imagery. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it was one of them joints where you sweating and you know once you get up, you're going to have that wet stain on your back or oh, arm yeah. or some shit. Hey, look, if y'all go look at the pictures that I posted on my IG, I 100% look kind of sweated out. If y'all look at that shirt, it oh, did yeah. not come like that. It was definitely mm-hmm. looked like I ran through the rain and got there. Uh-huh. And big shout out to everybody that showed me love on my IG post uh, for that outfit. I'm going to tell y'all the whole top the top and bottom was from ASOS. If y'all don't shop on ASOS, I got them pants from ASOS and I got the top from ASOS. I hate when niggas try to keep their drip. Like, you see a nigga with a dope ass hat on, you ask, yo, where you get this hat? He don't say shit. Right. And it's like, damn, nigga. Like, we not going to be together type shit. So I got a whole fit from ASOS. But let me tell y'all my secret. Shout out to my boy Rashad Little. Um, those pants I got, when I got them, they was way too long. They was way the long. Hit my man, Mr. Lee, the tailor right across the street. Nah, yeah, like, I'm about Yo, to take can you get jeans. These he do jeans? He do jeans. But, like, what you trying to get? Well, I just got, y'all know you get slim fit and them joints be off the baggy. Oh, okay, I just really yeah. need him to try like be slim fit. I'm not okay, trying yeah. to be out here looking like I'm in B2K. We getting ready to do it for a little saint, you know? Oh yeah, no, no bullshit. Like, but hey, look, that's the look now. Nah, see, uh, now nah, I get that, but but y'all like not them, not the ones that I got. It's not yeah. the look, but it's not slim. And that's the thing about my. I'm drink. looking like they work pants. They was they was they was just too long. Nah, yeah. But when I went to see him, I was like, look, I just need to take these up a little bit. He was like, no, motherfucker was like, look, you see this waist? This part need to go in. You nah, need to do this. That's how they do. I said, do what you got to do. That's why them joints look sweet like they really did. But um, I'm going to go in here and be like, these just too big. You need to do leg day. <laughs> 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 going to cook your shit. No bullshit, because I feel like my shit might just be too big. I need another size down. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see the real pants, though? My man had on a Steve Harvey collection like shit, boy. Okay, Dude, like you was ready for Family Feud like shit. Uh, we're going to play, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to play, Steve. <laughs> I want to do Family Feud. I would do Family Feud, but look, this is a fun fact about Family Feud. I've never seen anybody say, nah, we not going to play. We're going to give it to the other family. I've seen that a couple of times. I've never seen it. I hate this nigga. Because I've you seen, seen it. it a couple of times. You was sitting there watching the marathon, boy. It's time. It's been, look, Family Feud has got, gotten us through some dark times. Nah, it has. And Family Feud always did. Family Feud, race baits. Nah, it does. I always want the black folks to win. Let's go. They put black against white, Spanish against blacks. Uh-huh. Look, it's the... It's the Mc the the Abernathy family versus the Johnson, Johnson family. family. Let's go Johnsons. <laughs> Let's get it right. <laughs> they give me giving... Jonathan. Give me Trina. Uh huh. Bob Arnaz. <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, definitely was a dope vibe. What else did I want to say about the wedding? Uh, at the wedding, at the reception was dope. I think some of y'all might have seen it, but just a beautiful reception. I'll be, I'll just be getting ideas about how I might want to do my way in reception. You feel me? And look, mm-hmm. I said we sat at the table. At first, me and Swag got put on the list last, so it wasn't just get with your friends and sit down. You know, that's the one thing about weddings. We you had just kind of stand around and wait till they found a seat for us. When I do my wedding reception, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Like when I finally get married, I don't think I'm gonna do tables with assigned seats. I just want to do. Like, if I know I got 70 motherfuckers coming, I want to have 80, 90 seats. So everybody can just y'all sit Y'all can sit want. wherever the fuck y'all want in this joint, except for, like, the, the where I'm going to sit yeah. and where the parents and the, and the older folks are going to sit. We'll reserve some tables, but I'm not going to do the names. Okay, yeah, this table reserved, this table reserved. And that's the best thing about going to weddings. You get to figure out, like, how you want to do your own shit. And I was just going to say, uh, for real, for real, 
if, it, if it's buffet style, like how that joint was, then oh, that yeah. makes sense. Mm-hmm. But if you're going to do the joint where they bring y'all plates out, then that's different. Motherfuckers RSVP, say they allergic to chicken, I'm allergic to this. Oh, yeah. So no, it that depends true. on how you RSVP. I went to a wedding a couple years ago, and we picked a plate. What? When you cut me off? No, go ahead. I'm going to let you finish because I, I, didn't, I didn't bring that up so you can say, oh, yeah, when I do my wedding reset, I would say I was bringing something up. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You went to a wedding because you done started now. This nigga's bitching like he's drunk. You, are, you can't take the mic and then try to get the mic back. You got it. You got this from the Michael B. Jordan collection, boy. You got this from the Michael Dayton and Lori I'm, collection, boy. I got Lori boy. Harvey's hitting me. You hurt like shit. And I got Lori Harvey's hitting me. Meanwhile, what you got hitting you with that? I'm Almost. straight. I'm already good. Anyway, at the wedding, y'all, uh, I was sitting there. I'm sorry. They finally sat us at that table with those older folks. And Terrell wasn't necessarily, I guess you weren't close enough to have the convers- conversation, but... Man, I was chatting it up with like some, they was good 40, 50 plus, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Some old folks, not old folks, I don't want to disrespect them, but they were much older than I. And uh, it just felt good to kind of like converse with them. Mm-hmm. And I had everybody's attention, um, but it was two brothers and both of their wives. I was just talking to all four of them. And I was just feeling like, damn, like, I think it's a commendable thing. I just kind of pat myself on the back to be able to sit down with the youth but also be able to sit down with some of the older folks and entertain them as well. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily that I'm like entertainment, but you know, sometimes when you talk to older people, you just kind of sitting on that. Um, you listen or you just kind of say the short answers, but nah, I was definitely showing them like, yo, I'm not going to be short. You know what I'm saying? Short with it. I'm actually kind of long winded. Now you had to ask me about my passions and shit. Oh, I'm about to let you know. You're not sitting next to somebody regular. Mm-hmm. I knew Terrence was in his bag when I came back and he was like, yeah, you know what's about your journey. It's about, don't ask me what this nine about if you're not ready to have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just what it is. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> and they was at the mashed potatoes like this nigga at the table rapping about some Hell nah. Bullshit. Hell nah. True, I don't do that. They was definitely intrigued. Because when I left, they was... They Let's was find another table. Let's find else. another table. Maybe we can find something else. <laughs> Meanwhile, what was Terrell doing? That was partying. I was partying. That's how you know he wasn't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, mm. this is another thing about the wedding. If you single fellas and you go to a wedding, I think we can all agree that we all dread the part where the groom got to toss the joint back. No, because if I'm and single... They say, well, are there any single fellas in the house? That, to me, I still have the anxiety built up. Like, I don't know what it is, but that part definitely always fucks me up, bro. You got to go up there. You look... To me, we all look desperate, even though <laughs> just because we had to stand up. Nah, see that shit is a, a statement though. If you a single, if like if you a single guy, you know a single ladies there. They just went up and did the bouquet joint. Nah, you get but up see, that joint. Thing. You get up that joint and the, and you know what the people with the old folks saying. Let me see that finger. I don't see a ring. Get up there. Oh yeah, no boy. We had to get up there. It's like ah oh, damn. Oh, All yeah. right. So you gotta play it safe. When you're in a relationship, you just hang back and let the rip, let the real single niggas <laughs> do what they do. And then look, they did the real wedding style, y'all. You know something in the new age weddings. You don't get to put it on whoever caught the bouquet. But on this one, my boy Rashad, shout out my boy Rashad. He killed uh, it. For being an entertaining, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He took the jacket off slow. <laughs> I feel like that's dope, man. And honestly, I always tell myself, if I were to catch it, all right, I'm on the spot now. I'm going to just have to go ahead and show uh-huh. out. You know what I'm saying? Terrence Howard truly changed the way that's done because of Best Man. Yeah, but yeah, yeah because we all kind of go out. Terrence Howard. Terrence Loki, let's talk about Terrence. Tez, when he when you were the husband and you when you the groom and you go take it off. Oh no, he went crazy. My man Tez <laughs> took that shit off with his with his teeth. Uh huh. He did the worm up to the jump. I'm gonna keep it a hundred dollars. <laughs> Not my baby girl. I'd have walked hey. right up to Tez. You can't Sorry, do you that. Man, you a father at a wedding and you and you're, her. My groom daughter's getting married. This her husband. They got kids together. I'm gonna grab my wife's wrist. <laughs> you Come. can't be that dad. You just gotta let your daughter rock. At that point, your daughter's getting. Nah, this yeah. is her man. You know what I'm saying? She's. Yeah. If you Look, don't think I'm she know a... that dick already, <laughs> Terrell, you wild as shit. <laughs> Look, I ain't gonna lie. I was a, uh, I was kind of like an old soul when he was doing it. I was like, I. Right. Hey, old man. folks, eh? man, fuck that. So let me ask you this: When you get married with your, your wife, you gonna be all tonguing her down? You ain't kissed the bride? Nah, see, that's too much. I don't believe in that. I think you just, you know, that's too much. Some people, if you want to do that, if y'all want to do that, I don't see a problem with it. Ask, I won't do that. Ask your girl. If your girl don't say, nah, I'm not trying to do too much, then you good. But if your girl say, 
I mean, it's whatever I feel or, or, or something oh, like that. Oh, God. And you getting even for a mouthful. And look, that sticky ass lipstick you got on wedding day. Nah, yeah. Fuck <laughs> nah, your girl should know how to have a, you know. Nah, yeah, she gonna wear her. Your her girl back. got on some sticky lip gloss on her wedding day, Terrell. You tripping? Nah. Well, your girl's gonna wear something on her lips. Okay, yeah, but you know they got lipstick now that don't come off. <laughs> come on, bro. This motherfucker's tripping. That shit's Look, getting see, when on you. Look, see, when you fuck with bad. <laughs> <laughs> when you fuck with. My real Baby. niggas know that, though. Yeah, but nah, that shit's gonna get on you. I don't know no lipstick that Chase is gonna do what? It just ain't gonna get on you? Ladies, let them know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say the details. From a wet ass kiss. Jesus Christ, Terrence, that's ridiculous. Honestly, you just have to do the most when this happens, just by law, I guess. Nobody wants to hear a fucking Apple alarm. Um, but man, I can't. I can't wait to get to get married, y'all. I can't wait. I'm in a wedding next week. Look, I'm in a wedding in um like three weeks. I was just in a wedding before that. We was in a wedding last year. Nah, for for real. Like it's a lot of. Just love in the air. You know what I'm saying? Well, honey, you gonna do vows at your wedding, or you gonna do like? I think I'm gonna do like my the boy God Taylor joints. Dude. I think I'm gonna do. Terrell, repeat after me. I Terrell, do love and respect, and do promise to cherish and hold. I'm gonna do all that bullshit, <laughs> but I'm gonna say my own shit. I wanna say my own shit. I'm a writer. My father's a writer. I'm a better writer. I'm, I'm a. Uh... This nigga's annoying, man. <laughs> You're not. You're not a better writer than me. And you're not about to get me started on that. Anyway, you're just not. You're not. And I had to go ahead and stamp it like that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what makes you think you're a better writer than me? See, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to go down this route with you, bro. But, you're like, not. what have you written that's better than what I've written? Terrell, this is my thing. I know for a fact that my pen, this, is just stronger than yours. I know it. How? And I know it. You're saying that I, because I... I'm not understanding. The Dr. Seuss ass nigga. And where that coming from? Me. You definitely don't write better than me. Terrell. You try to get out. Terrell wrote our thesis film that we did in, in college. All of the films we shot. Was Terrell, them me. two joints that, gr that got greenlit was bum ass movies. I would never write them shits. I'm, I don't know why you holding on to that. Terrence, at the end of the day, they were productions. Terrell, what did you do? You gave, they picked your bum ass script because they could relate to that bullshit. They would have never picked some shit that I would have wrote. And, bro, don't ever play with me. You know my pen get crazy, but not crazier than mine. Not, like, undoubtedly. I bet. One day, y'all will see. One day. They're going to say, damn, remember that nigga was Terrence? Even the little skits in college? Me. Brother No More, I did that. Terrell, no, you did not. Yes, I did. The one with the strawberry shortcake? Terrell, you're wrong. You're wrong. Nah, Brother No More was you, but guess what was me? The joint with the shorty that we had that, that I met out there? Would we use a James Brown? Who was that? It was a girl in that? It was that girl, uh, whatever, the joint that we did at the McDonald's. Damn, I haven't seen that joint in so many years, I don't even remember how that joint ended. You did that or did I do that? Terrell. Honestly, Joe, Joe, like, we used to be on some joint shit back then. It's hard to say who wrote what, but for real, for real, like, all right, date night, our, our number one classic, come on, bro. That's me and I know it. That's me and I know it. You wrote the bum ass shit that got green light, but you did write our thesis film, so you try to run exactly. off with that. Anyway, look, we getting off topic. I would definitely write my own vows. <laughs> you want me to say some shit right now? Yeah, I, I like you getting married to me. Terrell, why would I do that? Anyway, uh, some, shit that, some shit that I would say to my wife. Um, I would say... I don't want to do this. This is cringy. I don't want to do it either because I don't want to be... I don't you already dressed... And you dressed like Morris Chestnut. Let's go. How you look? You look like... You look just like when Morris and them was playing poker and you got mad because your girl was actually getting slammed by your best man. Who you just... <laughs> <laughs> Nah, for real, look. This is exactly what he had on. <laughs> <laughs> you cooking me like shit. If you've seen the movie, then... You look like when Ricky survived the shot and actually went to the pros. You look like the nigga that shot Ricky. Weird nigga. <laughs> Thought you did something, threw your life away. <laughs> and you look like the nigga Ice Cube killed that had the Jerry Curl. Pull the fucking trigger. How they pull the trigger? Pull the trigger. <laughs> I fucking do it. I bet. Um, I think I'm also going to write my uh, vows. For real? Yeah. I don't know if I can do it, though, because I'm a crier, y'all. I'm a crier. I'm a crier for you real. You can't do it if you're going to cry. <laughs> I, I just love you. Nah, <laughs> think about it. Tez did that shit and cried at the end. I can't and do that. And that shit was moving, though. That shit was moving like shit. I'll be able to do that. You do? I, I'm going to cry when my wife come down the aisle and the flower girl and the, I'm going to be crying. Nah, yeah. If they playing that music. 
I'm gonna be I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry at your wedding. That's what I was saying. Like Loki, I would cry at your wedding before mine. It depends on what I go through before. Like I said, if if, if Shorty is is Bridezilla, we getting this shit the fuck over with. If that's all your money walking around, you ain't gonna be thinking about that. You're gonna be thinking about your love. Yeah, all right. Are you finally depends. doing it? You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. If, Let's if, say you have a kid. If, I, if there's kids involved, niece, nephew, mine, yeah, I'm definitely gonna cry. For sure. But I'm not about to be boo hooing on the first touch outside. You, you didn't realize that? What are you crying for? I feel like y'all niggas crying for the camera. Anyway. But yeah, Trey, you know that that wedding was dope, man. We wedding was dope. Seemed like Absolutely. It's the second year in a row we done been uh, involved at a wedding, even though we wasn't in the wedding, but like, you know what I'm saying, with the festivities. And I'm in a wedding in August. Damn, that's crazy. Oh, you want me to go to that jump? I'll go. No, 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 no. I want to see take you at the wedding. Take a wifey. You're not invited. Why can I not go? Because weddings are like lists. You have to know who's coming. G, you're not going to put me on a list, bro? <laughs> that. Look. I didn't you, you wasn't invited. We did work at Best Buy together. <laughs> that Shout out to three. my boy Gerard and his wife. They used to literally bring him like food. They would pick each other up. Like I've witnessed their love for a long Terrell, time. Terrell, we didn't act. We don't need to know your reason for why you was invited. Fuck you, nigga. You're not invited. I'm in the wedding. We didn't need to know your reason why you was invited. One of the groomsmen. Hey, let's talk about Sunday. Went to brunch, and I don't even want to harp on it too much. If y'all saw my story and you seen how I was lit, let me just tell y'all. When I got to our parking spot, and this is the craziest story that I never told you. When I got to the, uh, where we parked on that, down that, that little strip, yeah, it was this homeless dude out there. That said, looking good, looking good, man. Look, you know what he said? Look, don't drink too much. You got to give me $5. And he was like, ha, 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 ha. Right? Yeah. Appreciate it. And I left. I ended up calling you. Whatever. Long story less long. We go. We get lit. Got fucked up. Got fucked up. And let me just tell y'all a little story time. We had motherfucking six mimosas or some shit before the food even came. Because that's how brunch be. You get the bottomless mimosas first. Me and Rashad went to the bar and bought... The little $32 mimosa, we both got like three a piece. Bet, let's get it. We just brought them drinks back and spread them out across the tables. Yeah. And then after that, they like brought real mimosa. This was before we even thought about ordering. We, I had two mimosas before you got there. We got the mimosa, and then after, the, after we ate that little-ass plate for $55, which is ridiculous, they gave us the littlest plate for $55, then they bring around the bottle service menu. Rashad was like, I'm about, I don't know what you think, T. And I'm like, whatever you get, I'm going to match you. So we went crazy, got the Patron, got the uh, Casamigos. Um, bottom line, I had like four or five shots. And so, not even going to lie, I had to pee a couple times. The third time I had to pee, I was walking to the bathroom, and bro, I could not control it. It just, out of nowhere... I felt nauseous and shit. And y'all, I've never thrown up in my life. I'm somebody that has never thrown up ever that I can remember. People always say, yeah, you probably did when you was a kid, but I, I don't have any memories where I threw up. I don't even know how to. You know what I'm saying? I used to tell people that. Yeah. But this time, when I'm walking to the bathroom, before I even made it to the stall, thank God nobody was in there, I literally threw up. Ugh. Damn. Before the trash can. Most of it went in the trash can. But a little bit of it got a little bit of it got on the uh, on the floor. Damn, this nigga tripping. I was done, bro. Then look, went back to my car. Yeah. And I'm sitting in my car. I got my girl on the phone, and you know how you nauseous and shit, and your mouth get watery and shit, and you just keep spitting. Nah, for sure, I've been there. So I had my. You're gonna throw up. Yeah. You're I, gonna throw up. You might as well make yourself <laughs> throw up. Yeah. I, can't I remember I was at this girl house a minute ago, and it was I was going through that, and I was like, I was bent over her toilet. And I was spitting. I said, I ain't going to throw up. I said, I don't got to throw up. I stood up. That shit was like, <laughs> nah, nigga. I don't know what you thought this it. was. I hate that shit so much. But look, though. This was crazy. And I never told you this. I'm spitting outside out of my car. I got my door swung open. I got my door swung open. I'm spitting outside of the car. And it just happened. Yeah. First round. <laughs> Threw up on the ground. And then look. <laughs> I sat back up and was like. I'm good. My girl was like, I told my girl, I said, I just threw up. And she was like, what? Before I could even listen again, I threw up again. The homeless nigga walks by and says, 
You owe me five dollars. That shit was crazy. Fuck no. I didn't even remember that shit until the next day. That's crazy. Even like, look, you owe me five dollars. And I was like, I don't even remember what the fuck I said to the nigga. Did you give him five dollars? Hell no. He kept going. You know how it was like a little alley down there? Yeah, yeah. He was going down. He was in, in there. Man, like you said, I don't think it's no such thing as a coincidence. That motherfucker told you don't get too drunk. Almost like maybe that motherfucker's not even from here. Maybe he's not even real. Maybe that motherfucker just knows what's going to happen. Like he's from a different universe. Like one day there's people who travel the universe and they can see your future. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for you. Well, for, what if, that's me? That, what if like, that's me and my future coming back in disguise to tell myself? Because, nah, not that. Because after that, I sat there for like an hour. Uh, with my water, and then I was like, all right, bet I can drive. Which is the dumbest shit to do, y'all. Just get somebody to... For real. Take you somewhere, because you can get robbed. You can't just go sitting outside in some alley parking lot somewhere and just think shit's sweet because you're drunk. You're drunk, you're definitely getting toasted. But the wor- even worse than that, you could drive drunk and, and put somebody else in harm's way. So get an Uber, have a DD. Brunch was lit. It was so lit dancing with our old friends. Shout out Ryan. Shout out Rashad. Linking with our old friends from childhood. That shit was just like a family vibe, man. Nah, for sure. Them niggas definitely pulled me out of my box for real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, definitely made me feel like, all right, bet. Like, I'm comfortable in this situation to dance, drink. We was definitely fucked up. Yeah. Terrell, I tell you, though, I peeled right out of that joint, though. This man, Terrence, has a tolerance of a fucking triceratops. My tolerance up there because I've been getting lit, Jolly. And I told you, I used to smoke every day. So I was used to being a certain level of... Mm-hmm. My people who smoke know what I'm talking about. If you smoke every, if you smoke every day, you always high. When you, when you drunk, it's like being high just a little different. But I got to be high, high to not drive. I, used to, I, I had just got to a point where I was driving blazed. To the point where I'm like, if I get pulled over, you could probably see. But... Yeah. So that after that, I, I mean, I was drunk as shit for sure. Like, but 100% just peeled right out of that joint. This nigga Terrell was in that joint calling Earl. Man, Man Terrell called Earl, Earl three, three times. times. Called Earl in the, in the in the lounge. Now you calling Earl outside your whip. I literally threw Can't up. Can't hang with the big boy. I and threw, you didn't even have none of the 1942. I know. I threw up, but when I came back, I had another shot. You're I was I was ass. I was raw dog. I was I was going crazy that night. And nah, that y'all, day. we was definitely. Rinsing the shot, we was covering the shots with the mimosas. Yeah, that shit wouldn't. I'm never doing that again, bro. I would never, never do that shit. again mm-hmm. doing that shit. I'm gonna just space this shit out, drink more water, cause the next day I had to hangover from hell. Nah, yeah. Did we shoot that night though? We shot yeah. Monday night. We still shot that night. Hey, look. Uh, all I'm gonna say is that shit was lit. You just gotta be careful when you throwing back the mimosas and then you doubling back with the shots and shit like that. Definitely space the shit. I'm definitely not gonna take that many shots. Shots though. We had the friends there that was like, "Come on, y'all, we only live once." Type shit. So it was like, "All right, mine as well." But hey, look. But enough of our weekend, bro. Let's talk about some shit that everybody might have did with their weekend. Nope came out. Nope came out. Jordan saw it first. Uh, I saw that joint Thursday night. This is before the wedding. Definitely Can't. wasn't a packed theater because we saw the 10:30 showing. So it was just chill. And you know what? I don't know about y'all. I sat off on the right side of the theater. Mm-hmm. We sat on that right side. Yep. And I don't know. I feel like that's just a vibe. That's just a... For my, my fellas that might be taking a girl out, that's just a vibe on the sit all the way to the right. Sitting in the middle and you got a motherfucker there, motherfucker there. Uh-huh. Fuck that, man. You got to sit either all the way on the left or all the way on the right. When I went and seen Halloween Kills, we was all the way on the left. And it was yeah. something about when we was dying laughing... We didn't feel like we in the middle of everybody, you know what I'm saying? Or if I gotta tell, if I gotta say something, it don't feel like I'm talking in the middle of the movie. When yeah. you walk on the side, it feel like you do your whole thing. But um, Kiki Palmer, Daniel Kaluuya, Stephen Ewan. No, uh, sure. The first thing that I want to say is give kudos. I'm not gonna start with nothing negative. Hold on, wait. Let's build some anticipation. What is your snacks? What you uh? Oh my snacks. Your theater experience first. Before you even get to the movie, what was your snacks? What did you get? Large, uh, large, uh, this just, I've been, I've been getting the same thing at the movies for years. I'm gonna keep it 100. Large, high C raspberry. That's just raspberry. what I always get. High C raspberry. If you go up to that joint where you can pick all the different joints, mm-hmm. it's That's a Coke machine, but you can pick anything, you mm-hmm. know? You go to high C, get high C raspberry. Best flavor high C. That's not orange, it's not fruit punch. Shorty, I was with was like, fruit punch. And I'm like, fuck? 
Fuck no. Raspberry, but you know what? Hold up. Maybe I did pussy y'all didn't get the fruit punch. I'll, I'll, I'll just tell y'all that. Hossy raspberry, best shit you can get. You can get. Um, and then large popcorn, you know. I got them Welch's mm-hmm. fruit snacks too, though. I got them joints. But fuck the snacks. First thing that I want to say about the movie, I'm not going to spoil it for y'all. Y'all don't got to skip forward. I'm not going to say no spoilers. Um, I think nowadays in the in the film community, we don't have too many original films. And this was something that was completely original. And although you may have your judgments about it, it absolutely felt good to get a original film yeah. and watch something that was completely fresh. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This isn't something that was set all the way back in this time period and based on a true event here and based on this and like David O. Russell new movie based set back in segregation where you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. It That's wasn't true. like that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't Irishman. It wasn't nothing that, w- that we had to, you know what I'm saying? Retract our minds to. It mm-hmm. was something super original. That to me was the best part of it. And that's also why y'all see so many different mixed reviews. Some people just love the fact that it was original. It was something for them to dissect, something for you to open up. Oh, mm-hmm. it was really, oh, he was really saying this. He was really saying that. This really meant this. This really meant that. People like to get something original. People don't want to have a story that was already told, retold. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If somebody told you a story that based off true events, I mean, when you think about it, it normally ain't better than when, like, your granny or somebody tell you a story and they're just making it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can go anywhere with it. So I think with that That's good, pl- yeah. That playing field was definitely dope to see. Uh, if you're a Kiki Palmer fan, I feel like you're going to love the movie. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're a Daniel Kaluuya fan, you'll probably love the movie. Um, them two, you know what I'm saying? That tag team duo, his energy versus her energy. I thought it was pretty good. I, I thought that the, the acting in the movie was good. I got some thoughts about the story. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit there and act like I was entertained the entire time. I don't yeah. think that it was this movie that gripped me all the way through. I've seen a lot of comparisons to Spielberg, Tarantino, Hitchcock. I did not get that vibe at all. I'm sorry. I didn't get no type of Tarantino, no type of niggas was bringing up Jaws. Oh, it's like Jordan Peele's Jaws. I did not feel Jaws. It made me feel like, have y'all even seen Jaws? That shit was not Jaws. So you didn't like it? I'm not going to say that I didn't like it. Keep it 100. It. It's real. Because I don't want to say that I don't, I don't like saying that I didn't like something that I only seen one time. Or first viewing, I didn't want to watch it again. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. I saw it. It was all right. But am I rushing back to rewatch it? Like, we watched Get Out so many times to go back and see the little... Mm-hmm. But with this one, not that it needed to be like that. I just felt like I got that one experience. You know, I had some questions, but I'm like, all right. Didn't really do much for you. Didn't do the most. I'm going to let you get your shit off. um, Well, we went to uh, Al Frederick, this uh, warehouse warehouse cinemas. And the only thing I wanted to say is I got popcorn. I had had an alcoholic drink. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was called the Underdog. But they had these funnel cake fries. Yeah. That came with a vanilla cream that you could dip in. That shit was amazing. So Look at the shit that you get at the movie theaters. It That's came with like ridiculous. a little cup of vanilla cream. This not the place where we trying to, you know what I'm saying? See, well, this is, my, this is what I'll tell you. Me and my girl, we kind of bougie now when we go to movies. We don't do no regular AMCs. All that Coke machine hitting the numbers thing, we don't do that no more. Now, if I go to AMC, it's going to be AMC Prime or... We do like some of the special joints because they got real nice movie theaters out with by where she stay, and so I had a dope ass eating experience. <laughs> but the movie for me, like it, it was definitely like a long film, and for me it was a couple of um, it was just a lot of plot holes or a lot of unfinished narratives in the movie. That's the only thing that I didn't like about it. It was grand. It was. Beautifully shot by uh, Hoyt Van Hotima. If y'all know who Hoyt, uh, who Hoyt is, the cinematographer, he shot Interstellar. He did um, Tenet. He did um, a bunch of shit. Mo- a lot of Nolan films. Dunkirk. He mm-hmm. did a lot of work with Nolan, so it was dope to see him work with 
Jordan Peele, and you can see the similarities in the work. Remember when you said some stuff felt like he was trying to do like some Nolan esque shit? Nah, yeah, for sure. A lot of that could have been Hoyt behind the cam. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, it was just a lot of for me. It was just a lot of um, it was a lot of unfinished narratives. Like there are some things in the movie that they start, like they show you this thing, and you like want it to connect to the thing. And it just you never really figure out. You got your your a lot of it is left for you to be like, maybe they did that because and I'm not doing that. I feel yeah. like Jordan Peele, last two films, people got used to saying, Oh, you know what? Maybe this was a symbolism for the black community where I'm not doing that this time. And there's a lot of people that was trying to do that with certain things in the movie. And yeah. I'm like, you know what, y'all? No. Because that doesn't make sense. With get out. Like the he had to like he gripped the ball because black men go through play basketball and sports and shit. For some reason, the way they explained that shit, like the only choice he had was to grab the ball. Remember? Yeah. And get out. That shit like made sense. Yeah. Like okay, this might be a reach, but at least it makes sense. Some of the reaches from from this joint, I was like, nah, y'all. And that's why I was gonna say sometimes when your subject matter is so good. And people can really connect to the subject matter. Yeah, it's easy for us to create narratives of our own that you might not even have thought of. Some of my favorite directors have things done in their movies that I know for a fact you did not think of that, but your audience can take your subject matter and connect the dot that way. And that's why I feel like Nope might not have been as strong. I'm not gonna say that you can't. That's why I was gonna say one of my biggest takeaways from it was even if we can put this puzzle together. This don't mean that we're going to like what we see once it's all put together. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck if you tell me that, oh, yeah, that really happens because this. Like, a lot of the people that dislike Nope are vocal about it, and the people who respond to them are basically saying, oh, yeah, well, you just didn't get it. And I don't think that not liking the movie means that you didn't get it. I personally just think that you could have just not liked it. You know what I'm saying? Some movies you're just not going to like. I totally understood what happened. I just didn't really give a fuck. You also got to remember that you watch movies a lot different coming out of film school. You look at it like a piece nah, of work. Nah, but I'm not even speaking for the film students. I'm speaking for everybody who might have just not liked what they saw. I don't think that you can tell them, oh, you didn't. Oh, you just didn't get it. Oh, obviously you weren't able to comprehend. Nah, some people just didn't get it. And like my thing is this too. Peel's movies, and a lot of people these days, it's like you, people, you're you relying on going to Twitter or relying on the conspiracy theorists to line you up mm-hmm. so that you see. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not like that Donnie, Donnie Darko. You know, that was my movie suggestion of the week. But it's like the Donnie Darko. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? Film mm-hmm. type where you watch it. You don't know what the fuck you watched. And then you just go and do research and you find out, oh, that's what I watched. And some people like that aspect of filmmaking. Some people hate it. Some people feel like they wasted their time. Because like you said, some people don't feel like going and doing all the research after. And nope, y'all, I'm going to keep it honest. You definitely probably going to have to do some research after seeing that joint. Nah, yeah, there's definitely some videos out there that have like some, you know, this is that, you know, nope explained. Yeah. And look, like I said, the shit definitely lines up. It makes sense. But it's like, all right, like, I don't give a fuck. Oh, wow, this actually meant this. And it meant this. I don't care. Still didn't like it. Still not going to make me go back and see it. And I feel like it's not on me to say I didn't, that it was a bad movie, more so than I can just say that I didn't like it. Even though I don't like saying that I didn't like it, I only seen it once. But uh, Daniel Kaluuya, I'm going to just keep it 100 on that man's performance. I feel like he did a good job, but I feel like anybody could have did a good job in that role. I don't think that Daniel Kaluuya did anything super special in this role that set him aside or, or... is Academy mm-hmm. Award worthy. I just felt like he did what he was supposed to do. You know what I mean? Do you? And that's on Peel's writing versus Peel's direction for real. Yeah, because I also felt the character like was made. The character didn't really have any. He was like that. You know what I'm saying? That what do you call it? He was like the silent. You know, without spoiling. Yeah, but I also felt like had a, had the character had different energy, it would have brought a different element to the movie. Right. If had you had a character that matched Kiki Palmer's energy, it might have made that brother sister relationship a little bit more. Right. Like you know, I'm gonna think about my boy Jonathan Majors. 
If Jonathan but Majors Terrence, in no, that, I feel like you you're sliding Daniel Kaluuya for something that he it wasn't that he was directed that. No, nah, I'm not sliding him. That's why I said I don't think that. Because if Jonathan Majors was in a movie and did the exact same thing. And was directed the same way. You would have got the same result from Man, somebody different. Y'all not gonna keep it a hundred about Kaluuya. Terrence, you, can, not keep it you can't slight him for that. But this is what I'll say: Kaluuya's whole career has been that energy. The only reason why he's cast for roles like that is because that is literally what he has been. The first what thing ro- that I ever seen Daniel Kaluuya in was Five Hundred Merits, Black Mirror, and he literally was that. Yeah, I remember. You know what I'm saying? He has that sleepy, you got quiet guy. I don't know what he's talking about. He's that type of actor. And I'm not slighting him more so than I'm saying I don't think that he put on a clinic. I'm not slighting his performance. I, just, okay. I started the joint saying everybody did good. But I um, think Kiki did well. That's exactly what I'm moving to. Kiki Palmer, uh, I don't even, there's nothing on this. Kiki Palmer definitely had a standout performance. I felt like you, when you see people say that Kiki Palmer carried the movie, she definitely did. And, uh, a lot of that praise was met with, what do you say? I don't even know the word that I would say. Comparison? Yeah, met with comparison on Twitter. They was comparing Kiki Palmer and Zendaya, and what they were saying was, hey, shout out to Zendaya, Z-Day. That's what I call her. Anyway, uh, they were saying that if Kiki Palmer was light-skinned, she would be more famous than Zendaya or have the career like Zendaya. I wanted to know what you thought about that. Well, my thought about that is what has Zendaya done that Kiki Palmer hasn't done? Kiki Palmer has arguably done more than Zendaya. This is the only thing. Zendaya got Emmys mm-hmm. because she has she had a big drama that she's been a part of in uh, Euphoria. Other than that, Kiki Palmer did the Disney thing, laid the blueprint for Zendaya to follow. I did Disney with True Jackson VP. I did the child acting thing before you was even acting. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where... You could go look at motherfucking, what, Barbershop. She was like seven years old. Eight, not seven, but like 10, 11 years old when Barbershop 3 came out. Yeah. She been in the industry for a minute. Akilah was a staple in the black community. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like she's done more. It's just like, to me, it's a baseless comparison that they're using to kind of drive down and the try success. To amp up, they were trying to amp up the colorism aspect of the industry, though. I get, And I get that. I just felt like it was baseless to randomly compare Kiki to Zendaya. Both doing their thing, yeah. but why not let Kiki have her moment? Why are we comparing the two? Yeah, and I, it's Why like, are we comparing them? I don't think you should, y'all don't think you should compare, you know what I'm saying? It's like, with that comparison, you comparing a hawk to an eagle, you know what I'm saying? You're comparing... Who's the eagle? You're comparing... Uh, Ted, I, I don't like where this is going... I don't like where this is going. You're comparing a gala apple to a honey crisp apple. You know what I'm saying? Tess, but hold on, wait. Comparing, what are you saying? You're comparing Use real word. Cheerios to honey nut Cheerios. You know what I'm saying? What is he talking you're about? Comparing, I'm about to hurt your feelings. You're comparing. I'm really about to hurt your feelings. Sweet potato pie to pumpkin pie. Tess, you feel me? So Zendaya is the pumpkin. <laughs> because I know you're not about to say Kiki is pumpkin. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. This is my viewpoint. This is just my. This is just my opinion. Can you don't admit ever, first? Don't ever bring up Kiki Palmer and Zendaya in the Why same not? sentence. Why not? Why not? I laid the blueprint for you. Don't. You wouldn't be shit if don't. I didn't do what I did don't. first. Don't. Don't. I don't Tell know what y'all I, I, say. I'm sorry. I, I, Me and you on different ends of the table at this point. Because now I'm not playing. But Terrence, Terrell, hold I don't up. understand how you even getting it. Let me tell you something. It. Let me say this. Fuck that. I'm, I'm not I'm not capping. I don't give a fuck. Kiki Palmer, you did do your thing in this movie. But guess what? Lay you the did, blueprint. You did Kiki Palmer in this movie. You did Kiki Palmer in this movie. So, Terrence, let's talk about Zendaya because now no, you no, already no, made no. me hurt all of y'all feelings that love Zendaya. No, 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 let me tell you this. This is all I wanted to say. Until Kiki Palmer can drive and lead a TV show like Euphoria. Did she? And win two Emmys. Youngest to get nominated one for Emmy. two. Terrell, youngest to one, get nominated. One, one. All right, look. Youngest to get nominated for two Emmys. Kiki haven't done that because she don't got shit on her resume. That says that. I don't give a fuck if you've been in the industry Terrence, since you was five. Kiki, can I don't care if you've been in the industry since you was five. Don't compare apples. You know, don't compare the gala apple to the honey crisp apple. Yo, you right. We've been doing this, but look what I did. What role does Kiki have on the level of Rue from Euphoria? None. Kiki I'm has, nominated for two Emmys for a reason. Keep me out the keep your name out my out her mouth. Kiki has done 
movies where she Terrell, she's done movies, never got nominated or never had a role that, that was that good. What you gonna matter. bring up? Kiki Kiki. What was the movie? The, the long shots? You comparing that to Rue? First of all, you comparing what to Rue? Let's keep it a hundred. Akila, cause the let's only thing that can be compared to Rue. Let's keep it a hundred. Low key. My man Lawrence Fishburne had the best performance in that movie. And what? Akila and the B. Pants. Kiki can Lawrence do the tears. She can do the crying. Let she us see the, it. Let me just say this. Kiki Palmer is Jordan and Zendaya is Braun. It's like, we can say you good right now because you on top right now, but we're not about to disrespect the person that laid the groundwork for you. And, and guess what? I'm a Braun fan. It's, it's just like I'm a Braun disrespectful. Fan. It's dis- Ter- they did the same shit. Zendaya, they, they both did the same shit, but you can't say Zendaya she laid the is, groundwork she for did. her. Kiki Palmer, a young black girl. See, now True the Jackson, race come no, no, Okay, no, I'm, the race come not, in, it's, and it's, it's a different thing because cl- no colorism care. is a thing. It's not because Zendaya is also black, so I'm not trying to. But I'm saying the blueprint of the young black girl on Disney Channel moving into film, growing up, and See? doing drama. What Kiki? drama? What drama is Kiki, Kiki Palmer Kiki, doing? Yeah, Kiki been doing drama. Terrell, she did what drama? Family reunion. She did motherfucking long shots. She even did the motherfucking this nigga just the said long shots. Terrence, she has Terrell. All, all I'm, when did Terrence. long shots come out? 20, 20, 2009? Long shots came out in 2008. We talking about a 2008 performance now, versus 2022? Terrence, this is what your black ass is not getting. Kiki, I'm not saying she... We're not comparing the movies. You have been doing this as long this is as what Zendaya I'm and longer. But let me tell you, Zendaya got up here with it. You're trying to Because be... of what? Euphoria? Let me tell you this. Zendaya, Zendaya doesn't... In Euphoria... She had one good episode this so season. Kiki, Let's keep it a hundred. So Kiki Palmer could be ruined Euphoria. 100% she could. Y'all, and y'all you g- want bullshit if you think she could. Y'all got to put respect. Terrence, anybody can be a crackhead. It's the easiest role to play. That's the most Let disrespect that they put on, on Zendaya. That's I'm a crazy keeping it a hundred. Zendaya struggling to open a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> like, bro. Zendaya. She had one good episode where she really went crazy. That's crazy. But the whole... Oh, I'm... Damn. Look, the whole... Oh, I'm, I hit the funny bone. I'm yelling oh, at my friend. Juice, oh. you're selfish. You're not this oh and Bro, God. anybody can do that shit. Fuck you in that oh. money ball. I hope it burns. <laughs> oh, it does. I hope it burns. Oh. First off, Terrell. Terrence, let me talk. Fuck you. I'm letting you talk, nigga. You talking this whole time. You're not letting me talk. I didn't let you talk. You did. Motherfucking Terrence. Ooh. Zendaya, this season of Euphoria. She did a whole lot of, mm, yeah, mm, I don't know, mm, yeah. Terrell. Mm, I, don't, I guess I'm just drunk and high and I'm walking around. Okay, cool. She had one good episode. She's nominated for an Emmy and win. Again, she won't beat Wendy Bird. She didn't do better. Last season, hey, look, even she last. already beat Wendy Bird. She's already not, beat. She's not going to beat her this year because of the last season of Ozark. Terrell, you, you got to put respect. But look, on. Kiki could do that. The, I'm not trying to just could do. Are I'm, you doing it? Terrence, she could. Let me she tell you this. The same to come Kiki, the Palmer, the the honey. Kiki Palmer is trying to be funny in every single aspect of media that she's in. I we have like, not seen Terrence. Kiki Palmer have a Akila and the B type role since Akila and the B. That's not Don't true, tell Terrence. me she started doing she drama. Do- if Kiki wanted to do it, why she not doing it? Wasn't Kiki Palmer in Empire? Come on, man. Stop he, playing with she was a, and She wasn't an empire. She was an insecure. And, and I, and, oh, well, guess what? Was you trying to be funny in that? Right. So you went the comedy route. I went drama. That's why I got Emmy nods. But it's like, well, I've been in this. Wanna, why don't we wanna, compare? And see, this is the well, whole... No, hold on. Oh, now it's why we compare. Because this the whole thing to make it is seem rooted like, in trying to step on Kiki Palmer's no, success Terrell, in this movie. No, it's not. By using Zendaya. No, it is Nobody not. Nobody was thinking about her. Let's, Terrell, take a... Barber ass. Terrell. In Euphoria. Let's keep cool. it 100. It's cool, but stay over there. Terrell, let's keep it 100. Who brought up Zendaya? Terrence. Did this, you see? It wasn't the Kiki folks. People were showing Kiki yes, praise. They, yes, it, it was. It was these media outlets. Terrell, no, it wasn't. That compared the two, it was. They said, somebody said on Twitter that Kiki Palmer should be as big as Zendaya, but colorism. That's what was said. Kiki Palmer should be as big as Zendaya, but y'all not going to admit it because colorism. Okay, let's just say that there is colorism in the industry. Even we Zendaya know herself has spoke on that. But, yo, are we really going to give, like you just tried to do, we're going to give Kiki all of the credit for Zendaya's career? 
No, you we not didn't about to do, do that. that. We didn't you do that. You tried to say that she laid the blueprint. She that did. Keith, she laid the blueprint Terrell. that others but follow. Terrell. Zendaya's not doing shit that Kiki laid you a blueprint on Disney for. Disney Channel first, then you went in the film. Terrell, it don't matter. I laid the motherfucking blueprint. Terrell, for just because you did it first, that does not mean that you have career successful everything I do after. Yeah, we both Nobody's did. Nobody's taking her. We both did Disney, but look what I went and did after Disney versus you. You, you did you, one show. What has she really done? Did you forget that Z Zendaya? Terrell, she arguably haven't done more than, than Kiki. Terrell, but this is my thing. That's what, what has she done outside of But that's of what I'm Channel. talking about. I went and did drama and got and got myself Emmy nods. I'm doing dramatic shit. I'm not out here trying to be funny ever since I said the gag is. Let's just keep it on it. Taryn, everything Zendaya's that Kiki Palmer does, even in no, she's trying to be funny to the point where some people, including myself, can find that shit annoying. I'm going to keep it a hundo. My favorite director, Quentin Tarantino, came out and said, they asked him, will he ever cast Owen Wilson in a movie? And he said, absolutely not. And they said, Do you, is there beef? Is there a problem? He said, no, there's no beef at all. I've never met him. I just don't favor him. I just would not cast him. I'm not a fan. So you're not a fan of Kiki. So what I'll say is, because Kiki Palmer is trying to be funny every minute of her life, I just, I'm just, you cool, but I would be intimidated in casting you because you have a, you know what I'm saying? You're going to try to be funny and everything. Not taking away from your, uh, okay. not taking away from your, your chops. You definitely have chops. You definitely have done this Disney Channel shit. Same as Zendaya. Y'all had the same upbringing. However, Zendaya put herself in a position where an Emmy nod is something that you could get. More acclaim as an actress is something you can get. Don't fuck around and act nah, like Nah, Terrence, hold on. Zendaya wait, wasn't about in to act Malcolm like and Marie and killed that. that. Malcolm and Marie was trash. Terrible Are movie. Are you fucking kidding that me? That was the worst movie. One of the worst movies ever was. The Sam Levison is a trash ass writer. That movie was trash. Terrell, you have your own opinion, but Zendaya's, that movie was trash. Okay, her performance, performance was cool, but Terrence. But I, first it just of all, shows her range, though. But okay, where's but Kiki? Tans, where's Kiki's, Kiki's uh, now? This is where color is Malcolm a, and Marie. But this is where where's Kiki's this is where color, role where we can say that she is I'm on that should be Emmy nominated. I'm gonna answer you. This is where colorism does come into it. Cause guess what? Would they have cast Kiki Palmer to play Mary Jane in Spider Man? No. Zendaya's white side unlocked that for her. That white mama she got, or white what, was her mama white or, or, or daddy you white? See, that no, is Terrence. not fair. Hold on, wait. Because now all of I'm her not, success afterwards, Terrence, no, I'm is not because doing she's that. half white. But what I'm saying is, she got to get in the Marvel main stage of the motherfucking Spider Man um, Mary Jane role. Kiki would have never been cast in that. Sam Levison. To say Kiki would have never been cast in that to me is. Terrence, you know they wouldn't cast Kiki as no Mary Jane. Are you kidding me? For Spider Man? Terrell, Kiki. They're not going to give Kiki, but her beautiful what? brown skin, they're not going to put her in that role. Tansen, you know it. I could arguably say they would not have given Zendaya nope, right? Because Jordan Peele is black forward, right? But Zendaya is also black. We talk about roles she wouldn't have gotten, nah, but Kiki would have got. I got it. We talking about working up to Because now you won't use the colorism as a crutch. To help your argument, we talking I'm about chops. I'm just saying. I'm talking no, about. See, I'm look, saying, I'm looking at opportunity. I'm looking at. We're not talking about opportunity. You talking about opportunity? But you said, "What have you done?" And I'm like, "This is where the colorism does kind of come into nah, it because some that, of the stuff that, she did, that. she where got Kiki wouldn't get, and you gotta admit so that Kiki Palmer is trying to be funny. They Kiki Palmer have is not running the same career as Zendaya at this point. Zendaya is putting herself in the in the realm with real actresses that's not, that's trying to. do... You know what I'm saying? The spectrum. I've only seen Kiki Palmer trying to be funny. That's all I have seen. That's true, Terrence. And you're going to say that she that. has to do that because of colorism. No, no, no. I'm not saying that at all. All I'm saying, when you talk about opportunities and saying, oh, yeah, I'm doing this and that. Oh, uh, yeah, she got a lot of opportunities that Kiki probably would not even have the opportunity to get the chance. That's not to fair do. to say. That does not mean that we can because now say she wouldn't have that been she in the would be Zendaya Believe it if she was given an opportunity. Nah, we if haven't Zendaya, seen the chop. Terrence, if Zendaya never did the Spidey event, the, the Spider-Man films, she so, would not be as big as this she is, is like to saying, get to Euphoria. This is what you can't that say. Low that low-key helped blow her you up. You can say Viola Davis would have been Meryl had, there not, had it not been for colorism in the industry. Because Viola Davis has showed the same acting chops as Meryl. So we have okay. so Akilah won the B 
and grew up, and now she trying to be funny. Let's keep it 100, Terrell. I get it, but you, uh, you're not about to sit there and just make it seem like it's a Kiki different cloth Palmer. on that Z-Day side. What you talking about? We're just going to agree to disagree. It's and a this different thing is an cloth. You, it's That's just not like, a different yo, cloth? Yeah, no. Because you don't have no reason. We work. haven't seen anything else from you except... You but be that's a what I, oh, I bet. That's what I got, though. The and Mary they got two Emmy nominations for a youngest ever. What Kiki got? What Kiki got? She wouldn't have got that opportunity because of colorism. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate that. Sam y'all, Levinson though. would not cast a black woman to lead his show. He would not. Kiki is Zendaya, in the industry longer than Zendaya. Zendaya White so and Jason. She, Zendaya White and Jason. Sam Levinson. Terrell. Said, bet you could be my star. He would have never cast Kiki. Look at look at Nicole Bahari. I hate to do look that. At, look at Nicole Bahari. One of what my, about Nicole Bahari? One of my favorite black actresses, right? She is an actor. She is an actress. I'm sorry. Excuse me, Nicole, because I love her. She is an actress getting ready to be in, a, in the Mike series, right? Uh-huh. She's getting ready to be in another series. She is an actress who literally has the chops. That's somebody you can say might not be and Zendaya. You, act like, you, you acting like Kiki didn't have them chops from an early age. Terrell, man. I need to see something recent. You brought nope. up long. Nope. You brought up long nope. shots. Look at Note. You brought up long look shots. At, okay, look at Note. She just nope. killed it. Note is a comedy. It's not a comedy. You're not gonna get any drama looks from your role and what you did in Note. I'm sorry. I hope she get nominated for a fucking Oscar. Then what you gonna say? Then what is the Spidey chick gonna say? I'm not shitting on her performance in Nope, and her performance in Nope is cool, y'all, but y'all know what I'm it's talking great. about with Kiki Palmer. She is trying to be funny. Why are we sitting here acting like this is this A-class Viola Davis, Meryl Streep type? I feel like we putting Zendaya on an acting level that she's not at. Z-Day got two Emmy nominations because she, she earned them shits for Euphoria. She got an Emmy for Euphoria last I year, got but the world I feel watching like the show this, that is, this is You had the your... same momentum as me, did you not? Oh, you because not, colorism, okay, I got more momentum than you. You not Omar, though. Ridiculous, man. Omar from The Wire was great in that role, so great. But then he showed that I'm also be great in Boardwalk Empire. I'm going to also be great Kiki in needed this. needed to be Omar. Listen, I don't think Zendaya is going to leave Euphoria. And this could be a very cold taking a long time. And I wish her nothing but the best. But until we see it, I'm not You've already her, played, said ridiculous I'm not shit. putting her on the... I, I feel like... This is an unpopular opinion, I guess. But recency bias, it's, it's like these motherfuckers saying Jalen Ramsey is better than all of these Charles Woods and Champ Bailey. It's like, this nigga you played have six to have seasons. The claw. Kiki, we saw Ter- what Charles Woodson did. We not giving Kiki Palmer You're not giving Kiki the credit she deserves, man. And the you're not giving Kiki credit. You're not what giving her have Kiki. we seen? You're not giving her What the- you going to put up next to Euphoria? Because I just did that in 2022 and in 2018. I'm going to get nominated for What have you done vote. between 2018 and 2022? Besides the gag is. I'm not shitting on her. You are. It's fine, though. Once you get this nomination for what's her name, you're going to eat words. Y'all. And guess what? She also has a Daytime Emmy Award. For what? Uh, uh Nomination. For what? When she was doing the uh, Kiki and Michael show. With Michael Strahan, oh, her hey, daytime yeah. joint. Yeah, you're right. Zendaya, we never had to go that route. We never had to go uh, daytime. Okay, TV but show. we talking Emmys. I we have a nomination. I had a nomination. Zendaya been, you know what I'm saying? And she won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Actress in a Short Film for her uh, joint turn up. So I got an Emmy. I got an Emmy in two nominations. Fuck is he talking about? We talking We've about. We've been there. Y'all and guess not what? Talking about she won Emmy. that. Terrell, y'all talking about act- acting. They are saying she, she didn't won have Zendaya's career. Hold up. Hold up, Terrence. Do what I did before you start talking about look me. Look at the nigga backtrack. You talking about, about some Emmys that don't nobody even know about. Terrence, you, you talking said, about the real you shit, said, nigga. You said, I got two Emmy nominations. The biggest Emmy nods, boy. Oh, now we comparing the size of it. Terrell, you going to compare a daytime Emmy it to, ma- a, to a primetime Emmy? Emmy is an Emmy. The, the motherfucking golden statue with the wings on is the same thing. Terrell, you, ha- you, it, you don't crazy. have my career. All I'm going to say is we're going to rap. Karuchi got a daytime Emmy, so I guess she's on the same level as both of them. This is all I'm going to say. This is all I'm going to say. All I think, this is an unpopular opinion, I guess. I don't think Zendaya has done enough great acting for us to put us on a, her on the level that we put her on. I feel like it's a lot of recency no, bias. No, no, no. We're not saying that. We talking You're... about in comparison to Kiki. Nah, but Kiki Ki- is somebody. She's done enough for Kiki to be back Who is a off. philanthropist. 
who has done acting, oh who my has done God. We so talking much. about acting. We talking about talent. You call Don't this bring girl, up an honor. Nah, right. Terrence, hold on, wait, because you started crazy. You started crazy. You call her pumpkin pie. You call her a gala when apple. When it come to acting, yeah. When no, it come to acting, I don't agree with you. I got a primetime Emmy for my latest shit. I don't agree what with you talking name. about? I got primetime Emmy Nas. What you talking? I'm on, I'm on, I'm on two seasons in a row. And you act like Kiki. Kiki was in Hustlers with J-Lo. She did great in that. She, was she being funny? She was a comedic, comedic no. relief? No. Comedic relief? Not really. Come on, bro. I don't Stop agree with you. Stop sitting there acting like Kiki has two roles. I think she the, don't. at the end of it all, it was Kiki's moment. And the person that said, oh, yeah, colorism, they weren't wrong. They ruined it. They weren't wrong. They weren't wrong. But that's why the comparison came up. And now this whole up. shit has taken away from Kiki Palmer's success. Nobody's thinking about Zendaya. She about to do Zo Dune, which, if let's be honest, they put her ass on the front of Dune, offered her to just stand there and stare at the camera for the whole movie. Didn't even show. I guess she's going to have a bigger role in the second part. <laughs> that was a fucking sham. Terrell. And I love Denny Villeneuve, but... They had her ass on the front. Is he clearly not a Zendaya hater, y'all? He's a Zendaya hater. I love Zendaya. Hater. How do you love Zendaya I when you talk Zendaya. shit about her like see, that? You don't love Z. Man, see, this is what happened. When you start telling the truth about shit, or when you start, when you have a different opinion, people try to make it seem like when, you hate somebody or you don't like you them. You couldn't even get Just because you're not giving them nothing but ultimate praise. He like, if I was to say, if, if I was to say, oh, I don't like this, they say, oh, I get online and say, oh, this wasn't that good. People say, look, you're a hater, wild yeah. Terrell hating. You How was can't that give an example of anything Kiki Palmer has done she to deserve Emmy. to be on the same level as Zendaya acting wise. No, nope. Zendaya has been in a Netflix film. No, nope. Zendaya has been she in did two, Alice. two Spider Mans. I've been in. I have a leading show on on HBO. What leading, you about? leading. The biggest show on HBO that broke Game of Thrones records is what? You bitch ass nigga. Fuck that. It's not because of her. Her ass wasn't even the whole season. You see? She was strung out the whole season. Man, fuck out of here. I'm done with, with this nigga. When you pull your trophy out, they tell you you're not supposed to be the one holding it. It's supposed to be him. You didn't nah, do nothing that. out there. You if giving Zendaya way too ring, much credit. You giving her way too much. She's the lead of the show, you, you dumb her, nigga. She's not. The best the season of last show, season the, was Zendaya's Terrence, episode. The, yeah. The, the lead of the show last season was Nate and Cassie. The fuck out of here. The best episode of last season was Zendaya's all episode. Zendaya why did, she's nominated. All she did last year was cry and, oh, I guess I'm drunk. What did, I guess what I'm did, what did Kiki do? What was Kiki in? She just did Lightyear, too. Fuck out of here. Voice over game. What is Zendaya Comedic relief. Comedic relief. I'm sorry. That wasn't even funny. We're doing too many. We're doing two different roles. I'm sorry. You got Kiki fucked up. Who's more talented? Kiki is more talented. Let's talk talent. Because Kiki can sing. Zendaya's music was trash. Zendaya, did you not hear the song in the episode? Who you saw, he think wrote that? The dude who wrote it <laughs> was nominated Zendaya. for Emmy for that too, which is bullshit. That's you see? What song is Kiki nominated for? A hip hop jam? She's better. Kiki is way better. She can sing better? Where? Zendaya Where? Where? Who is can this shit and, Kiki can about? and Kiki can dance better. Y'all got Z Day fucked up. Y'all see the Terrence, old. We're done with this. This is getting ridiculous. We're done with this. We done with this. Y'all got Z Day fucked up. Hey, hey Z Day. This is ridiculous. When you focus on colorism, you can make excuse for her whole career. We might as well just say she need to move the fuck out of the way. Nah, when you focus on colorism, let's talk about actual chops. colorism. I'm but not tank. sitting here looking at industry versus industry. I'm looking at paint paintbrush v paintbrush. Do I want to use yeah, you Terrence, or you do I want to use you? you are, and I'm looking at what you painted and what you've done. Yeah, and you Y'all can is different. You're forgetting that those paintbrushes have to be picked. And the people that are doing the picking, not going to pick this paintbrush over that one. Bitch ass nigga, let's Terrell, move on. The canvases they, they have is different. But that's why I said the paintbrushes are picked. If I'm looking at everything, you is looking not at the about race. And not looking at the white that's hand That's the bad that thing about this whole brushes. situation. Everything is not about race. Y'all try to bring the race up and bring the Zendaya into this. Nah, Whoa, hold, hold up. up. Nah, for real. Don't it is colorism. Is it, not, is it not low-key discrediting Zendaya's career? Yeah. Is this no key not discrediting Zendaya? It's one of those harsh them. truths. It's like oh, you don't want to hear Zendaya. And, it's like one of the things oh, you don't want to hear. What the fuck has she done to be on Zendaya's level? You don't want to hear it, but it is true. Like when I'm speaking to the colorism thing, and everything is about race. The country is built on race. Terrell, that's true, but like we talking about. I don't want to hear that. Now. I hate when people say everything's not about race. Nah, I already told made it that way. I already told y'all the real colorism thing. We can say that Viola should be Meryl. We can say that. We can say that Denzel should be... I'm with you. ...should be Al Pacino. We should say that... Or, or Robert De Niro. We should... We could say stuff like that. But come on. You got to have the chops. I just feel like you... some shit like that. You just disrespect You running off long shots and Akilah and the B? 
I, Back when 106 and Pop was all, on? All your accolades that you got as Zendaya, I had them first I, as Kiki. I had an Emmy first. I you don't have nom- the Emmy I, I got. I two nominations You first. don't have I the Emmy I dance better got. than you. I sing better than you. you I can don't. do the talk show thing. All you are you is a Mary Zendaya Jane. Can do her, Zendaya can have a talk show like Ellen. She don't got to get on with Michael Strahan's Kiki's, retired Kiki's giant already, ass. Kiki's already done it and won an Emmy for it. It's real, but I'm just Let's saying. You Zendaya, if she wants to be the next you Ellen trash DeGeneres. trash Malcolm and Marie. That movie was trash. If Zendaya want to be the next. product of Sam Levison. If Fuck Zendaya want to be the next writer. Ellen DeGeneres, she could. She wouldn't have to do, do a Kelly Reaper and Regis Philbin type show. I don't think she would do show. good as that. I don't think she's But guess what? Kiki, Kiki is way more better of a better personality. Oh, my God. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. We're done with this. Let's move on. Because this nigga's this nigga is pissing me off. This nigga's definitely wilding like shit. Now, look. Let's move on. The Black Panther trailer came out. That's a good and, one. Um, That's a good. Yeah. The Black yeah. Panther trailer came out. We, was, we had some thoughts about it. We didn't know what we was going to get. We talked about it a couple weeks ago. Amongst all of the Marvel shit that was released. Yeah. The whole new phase. The new phase. Um, two Avengers films. Some more shit. What? For real? Two Avengers films, yeah. You didn't see the whole joint? Yeah, they releasing two Avengers films. I didn't even to come. see that. Uh, and I think those are in like twenty twenty four, y'all like. But um, Black Panther was the dopest joint. Did you see the dudes at TikTok about how they did it? What? Uh uh-uh. uh. The dude was like they talked about. Uh, what's that dude's name who does the uh show? You know him, Feige. Yeah, they said he went up there and was talking about the. He said we've talked about the. Past, we've talked about the future. Now let's talk about forever. And look, the lights, he said all the lights went dim. And then those little Black Panther drums started playing. Oh, dope. Yup. And then uh, Kevin Feige went up there. Kevin Feige did that last. They, they, they announced Black Panther last. Oh, but what? Oh, but oh, okay. So it was Kevin. Yes. You know who Kevin Feige is? The nigga that runs the whole shit. The nigga that was on the stage for that joint. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. But. Ryan Coogler didn't go up there? Ryan Coogler went up there and told a, a speech about how Chadwick, when the first joint came out, they said Chadwick used to put his hands on his shoulders. He said he could still feel Chadwick's hand on his shoulder. Man. Dope. Shout out Black Panther. Shout out Ryan Coogler. I'm glad that he's in front of this. That gives me some faith. Um, but a big thing that everybody was talking about with this film is who's going to be the next T'Challa, right? Mm-hmm. So when the, when the trailer starts, first off, beautiful song by Tim's. I don't know if you heard that. Yeah. That song is actually unlistenable. Like you, Jai like cannot listen to that song. Yeah. It dead. If you if you you lose your motherfucking dog, your hamster stops spinning on the wheel. You fuck around listen to that joint and be bald. Nah, for real. But uh, in the film, it's almost as if they let everybody know that T'Challa is gone. And I don't know if you know, but that started a big public outrage. Tell me, me. That started a big public outrage. Did mm-hmm. you see? I saw a little bit of it. A lot of people were upset at the fact that T'Challa is dead. Yeah. Well, did you see what they were saying about that? Is it does it have anything to do with the comic? They were basically saying that if Peter, if 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 Tom Holland dies, they're not gonna kill off Spider Man. If Bruce Wayne died, I mean, I'm sorry, if if Tony Stark, so, I mean, I mean uh, Robert, Robert, Robert Downey. Downey, not even Robert Downey, because low key, that's a good example. Well, he's already dead. Well, not yeah. he, it's, Robert it's, Downey, like, finished, but, but like the dude that if plays Chris Bruce Evans, Wayne. If Chris Evans passed away, Chris Evans passed away, they wouldn't just kill Cap, yeah, Cap, and just cut his story arc short. And a lot of people was like, yo, they shouldn't, we shouldn't have to watch. No more Black Panther. A lot of people thought that he should have been recast. And we still get a T'Challa storyline because, yo, he's real important. They said that he's just as important as a lot of the main... Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? And for now, his story arc is over with. A lot of people had a problem with that. And nah. I, I didn't have a problem with it until I, until I saw the outrage. I'm not going to be honest because I'm not a big Marvel comic reader. Yeah, I didn't read... I'm not a comic uh, book person either. I know there was way more that, they, that T'Challa had. They had way more plans for T'Challa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Wakanda, the next Wakanda, I mean the next uh, Black Panda, and my goddamn, but um, the next Black Panther was supposed to be like special. It's like, bet, like what's going to happen? Yeah. It was fresh out of the, um, the comeback at the end game after, you know, Thanos snapped everybody the way it had been dope. And I definitely think that they should have recast it. I, I mean... I don't like that. Those people definitely made me feel like, all right, bet you know what, y'all right. 
Yeah, we did y'all like cut T'Challa's whole shit short. T'Challa, I mean, not even Chad. Not even Chad, but just T'Challa. We could have recast somebody, put Trayvante Rhodes in there. You know what I'm saying? Somebody can yeah, do it. Somebody can get in there, and and it, if it's not just, it might not be Chadwick. I didn't like that, but but I didn't like that either. Who do you think is going to be the uh, Black Panther? Do you have? A I definitely think that it's going to be uh, Shiri. I think it's going to be a woman. I definitely think that they're going to. When you look at, I looked at this. Um, it's almost like a poster that they had where the dude was choking Black Panther. And I told you, the way that the legs look, it definitely looked like a woman. Yeah. So, and they say Shuri, Shuri is the Black Panther at some point in the comic. Yeah, so they might just, so they might just do that. Do that, yeah. Who knows? I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm hoping for the best for the film. I don't know how to feel. Marvel has been taking nothing but L's since Endgame except Spider-Man. And I'll be honest, y'all. Have y'all rewatched... Um, Far from home or no? What was the one with the uh, all the Spider Man? Have y'all rewatched that joint? I mean, when we first saw it, I'm on record for saying, "Yo, this was the best Marvel movie ever." The rewatch, that storyline is like, uh, it's it's not a, it's not as good as a rewatch. Doctor Strange was cool at first. The rewatch, it was even worse. I'm, I'm a- sorry, all of the. The the Sam Raimi fans are trying to like rally behind that joint, but that joint was weak. And Thor, Thud, they calling it Thud, Love and Thunder. That thud. joint was trash. And so I'm just hoping that Coogler does something. Like, what is the storyline gonna be on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know. I'm excited for it though. And what what I was saying is like I and this might be a controversial take. When I saw Angela Bassett coming out and saying every my family is gone and I am the queen and stuff like that, I'm like, all right, I don't want to see this big woman empowerment movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all might get upset with me saying that. A lot of people feel like Black Panther really didn't do shit in the first movie anyway. It was a big woman movie about that one. You know what I'm saying? It was a big woman fest. You had oh, the, the door Milaj, Shuri. Milaj, Shuri. Nikea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Black Panther really didn't get to get his shit off in that joint. Now he's going to be dead. And it just felt real like, all right, who's Black Panther? Yeah. This we going to be all right shit with our with films has got to fucking stop. I absolutely hate that Chadwick passed away. Yeah. Because now it's going to we going to be all right movie. God damn. They Not even had sure. we going to be all right. They had that joint on that joint. Oh, I thought I heard that joint in the undertone. And it's like, yo, we are going to be all right. This is supposed to uplift us. We're not supposed to go in this fucking theater crying, missing Chadwick. We're we got to watch a whole hour and some change of, well, I guarantee, I told you right, I guarantee this going to be the storyline. Y'all see how Shuri was crying throughout the whole trailer? She going to take Chadwick's death, rough. Well, look, we saying Chadwick. T'Challa. <laughs> take T'Challa being gone rough. You're going to have to, look, there's going to be people thinking that the women can't rule or the women can't, right? And then it's going to be this woman prove that they can rule thing. Because I am the queen. And my family's gone. You know what I'm saying? I guess they didn't have any more herbs left because Michael B. Jordan fucked that whole joint up. You know what I'm saying? So there's no more heart-shaped herb for them to have a real T'Challa. Or the next stop for, for the Black Panther to have the strength. <laughs> so now it's this woman empowerment movie. What's well, not bad, but now we're getting real political. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now shit can't go certain ways because... We need the woman empowerment movement to keep going here. So now when I watch this, I know what the fuck is going to happen. I told Terrell what I think going to well, happen yeah. is Shuri's going to get the strength and I'm going to avenge T'Challa. And right when they're having a big battle, Shing, who is it? Shuri. Oh my gosh, she put on the suit. Yes. Yes. I just don't want to see that movie. <laughs> I'm so sick. I wish they would have just recasted T'Challa. Make M'Baku have a bigger role. Daniel Kaluuya's black ass dropped out for note, and I, I, it's because he was the main. I'm sure the money looked better on that side. Mm-hmm. But this motherfucker, Daniel Kaluuya's talking about doing a Barney live live action Barney. What the fuck? <laughs> Bring your black ass over here and do back Black Panther. You could have stepped up nah, on some yeah, damn. Wakabi, I, yeah. You know, you're not in it. It's just gonna be a big. I trust Ryan Coogler though. I tr- that's the only. That's why I said he's the only bright light. I that, trust Ryan. That I have. He's the director. If anybody doesn't know, I trust him. We love him. Um, 
I just I I don't know what they're gonna do. I trust him. Just finish this, Ryan Coogler, and let's get to the shit. Yes. Let's get to the shit. We gotta get him out of this Marvel. You, yeah, universe. we need to get you back on our own. You on, need to make another real shit. Yeah. You know? He's not even attached to Creed 3. You just got that situation with the bank. Man, that should let you know how this world is, man. You need to make some movies that's, gonna, that's a little bit more. You know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, we'll for, sure, for sure. I want the Ryan Coogler Den of Thieves. Ryan, I that's what Ryan I'm saying. I want the Ryan Coogler it all. You need to have an F. Gary Gray career. You yes. know what I'm saying? You don't need to have uh, that what's the Marvel dude's name money that did Iron Man? Who? Um, the dude that plays Happy? <laughs> but he did, he directs. Uh huh. He uh, did all of the Iron Man, right? John Favreau. You don't mm. need that John Favreau career. Fuck that. You need to stay on this side. We need another John Singleton. We need another Singleton. No, we need real. to be able to say I'm with Ryan. Because Spike is old as fuck. And Tyler Perry. <laughs> we don't even want that handout. <laughs> we don't want it. This you want to come work on House of Pain? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let <laughs> me think about it. All right, Black boy, ass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put him in nothing now. No Oprah. No Ava. All right, look. Um, I did want Tyler Perry would have reached out. We'll have a conversation. What am I doing? What are we doing? I'm not doing the bro. I'm not working on the bro. I'm not doing. I'm not working on sisters. sisters. No, I'm not working on a new. And you uh, know what? He be writing everything. Haves so what do you and mean? a half. Not working not on what? You're not gonna work on any one of my films. Bye. I'll be like, am I and black and enjoy your black ball? <laughs> right. <laughs> am I a loving black man or am I the creature? And where's the, my light skin Jesus loving yeah, ca- counterpart that's about on? to come <laughs> when I fuck up? Um, but did want to touch on the Emmett Till trailer? Uh, the or the trailer for Till? Hey, Not let's go too movie long. pod. I know, right? Too movie much. Pod. Argued about Zendaya and Kiki. You for, said ridiculous wow. shit. This motherfucker called Kiki Palmer pump, uh, pumpkin pie. I would never. Re- I would never. Compared to Zendaya, she is very much so pumpkin pie. Zendaya pumpkin pie still got a, a, a. It's still good, but this ain't sweet. Pumpkin potato. pie is trash. Pumpkin pie is is trash. All they had was pumpkin pie. Uh, then I'm not getting no pie. Sorry, if you uh, you never had a piece of pumpkin pie. I have, and I don't like it. Pumpkin is not good. Pumpkin Pump- is trash. Yes, pumpkin is made to Kiki sit outside on Halloween. has not done shit that's compared to what Zendaya has done. We're not getting back into this, Tans. We're getting ready to talk about the Till movie. Um, but everybody knows that, you know, we don't like the uh, the, the whole black trauma films. And um, the director, um, which is a, um, a black woman, mm-hmm. she came out and said, I don't want this to be... Um, a trauma reminder or a trauma experience, and it's going to focus a lot more on. It's going to still show the realness of everything, but she said I wanted it to be, to show a little bit more of the 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 community and camaraderie and shit like that yeah. in that time. Um, there's no way you can do that, but there's no way you cannot. There's yeah. no way it's not. I get what you're saying, but I with get subject what you matter might like this, want, but you're doing exactly the opposite. Nah, for sure. And I get that this movie is more so about Mammy than um, Emmett. Um, but and I just. That's where low key I feel like you went wrong. Well, well this is my thing. This is about. We've seen the Emmett my Till thing story is this. before. Hold up. We've seen the Emmett Till story before. Because this motherfucker's about to just talk over me. That's what we got. We've seen the Emmett Till story before yeah. with the doc via the documentary. It's pretty much everywhere. Um, and shout out to the National Museum of African American History and Culture for the Emmett Till exhibit, which is they don't show you, but like that whole exhibit is crazy. Nah, DC. if you've gotten to do that, that is it's it, ridiculous. It is a while. It is yeah. crazy. They, um, for context, they basically set it up like Emmett Till's funeral, where his casket's up there. It's open. You can't see in it. But they let you walk the same type of line that people end up walking in real life. But um, in D.C., if you have in town, go see it right next to the monument. But um, they've done his story already. So they, the lady said she, the director, she said she wanted to focus more so on Mammy and what ended up being a movement or whatever. That's exactly where I felt like she went wrong. I right, bet. What you think? I think if you want, if you want to bring exposure to this, then you have to do what Mammy did. Don't just show. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean is, you're going to have to do it. I think she does do it, though. I think she does it. Does it? Yeah. Like, show the open casket? No. I mean, 
you want to show the real, it need to be real as fuck. And I just felt like it's not going to be. What, but Don't what, show me. What, what was, what's going to make it real? You know what Steve McQueen did with Patsy in 12 Years a Slave? This is just my opinion. If oh, you're yeah. not going to go that long route, don't show it. What exposure are you really bringing? You want to bring exposure to a movement that started years ago. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That we still didn't get justice for? They just threw out, if I'm not mistaken, they just threw out the warrant for that lady's arrest. Mm -hmm. Carolyn Bryant, bitch. They just threw out the warrant. Uh huh. So we're going to try to bring exposure to get another warrant for an 85-year-old woman. But that's the thing. This is not about a warrant. This is but not about that. And so, go ahead. I, I'm up. Well, well, I'll ask you. If it ain't about that, then what's the difference between this story and the story with Philando Castile, the story with Mike Brown, the story with what we just experienced with that brother that got shot 60 times on the ground? What do we get from this besides we feel like shit and nothing happens? Nah, for real. And I feel like this is my thing. Um, there are seven direct. There's seven producers on the film. Five of them are white. There's also a white writer, um, which I'm only saying that because a lot of times with these films we get that white savior piece. Right. This is my thing. We don't have a. There was this good white person that helped me out. We never heard that part of Mammy's story. You know what I'm saying? We never heard the part of where there was a good white person in Emmett Till's life that he was with. And unfortunately, this happened, but it was some good white people there. And I feel like what's going to happen, and it happens all the time with, with, with these movies. Y'all remember it happened with the, uh, the Taraji movie. Remember what Taraji was in? With the three ladies that were astronauts? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, they wrote it in so that the white dudes saved them and told them to come back. And then the ladies end up coming out, and they old age and saying, that didn't happen. He hated us. Same thing with 12 the Years Kevin, a Slave. The Kevin Cosner. Yeah, 12 Years a Slave. Brad Pitt was written in to be the one to save Chiwetel and basically I got you your freedom papers so he could go home and what which is you know what I'm saying yeah. there's always that that white savior trope and so I don't know what they're going to do with this film you got five white producers and one white writer yeah with this lady and the man who did the the joint but my point is this this shit is not about to me I could be wrong this is just my point of view this is what I see from the industry the industry is rooted in nostalgia, but that doesn't mean that it's just about reminding people of the things that made them feel good or I want you to rem remember this, we about to remake it. Nostalgia is rooted in familiarity, period. Meaning everybody knows Emmett Till's story. Nobody has ever made a feature length film on it. We have nothing else to do. Think of it, we got a Mike Tyson biopic coming out. If it's not a biopic or a remake or the, the niche, Original right. film is black trauma. This is one of the only black trauma lanes, not one of the only, but this is a lane that has been explored through documentary, but they haven't done it for film. And so it, it, to me, it's just another one of those, because like you said, this lady that did this, Carolyn Bryant, she has not been held accountable for it. There's people that have been protesting outside of uh, the place where she stays. There was a warrant out for her arrest. They had worked up to get the, the, the warrant. But then that was just thrown out. So at this moment, there's nothing that's going to be done. This film is not going to do anything to change that. And this, and, and so for me, it's like, why even do it? But this is my thing. I know why you, if you want really, you want to really set some shit off, then you got to go the Passion of the Christ route. You got to go the Rosewood route. Yeah. Don't be a bitch. Like, this is why I don't like, this is why I don't like when we do, you want to do, oh, look, go to Malcolm X route. We got to see. Don't, please don't scream. We got to see them put 30 bullets in Malcolm X in real time. A character we watched grow from nothing to something, we saw it to the very end. And that's what made that movie really real. Feel me? Yeah. If you're not going to go that route, don't even do it. Ava DuVernay, love her to death. But when she did the MLK movie, you know what I'm saying? Don't just show our pain. Don't, I don't want to just watch us in pain. I want to see the real. So you wanted to see him get shot on the balcony. I want to see Malcolm. I want to see. That's pain. But what look, are you talking about? That's pain. That is the ultimate but level. My thing is this. 
I don't want to see you crying over a dead body. We want to see what happened. Because it's too many. We want to see. I want to see the. Oh, so the it's bad. Like, oh, okay, yeah. Tell you the whole story if you're going to tell it. When you watch 12 Years a Slave and you saw that man whipping Patsy for it, when it goes from her to him to her to him, that lets us know the bullshit for real. Imagine they don't show that scene with Patsy and we just go to a scene where she's laying on her back because she got whipped. Now we're and only have sitting been. with our pain. We don't even see the real. That's why I said for real, it might be. They said for years that something like Passion of the Christ is too graphic to do. It's too, it's too graphic of a story. But, it was a, but if, you, if you thought it was real, if you believe in the realness of it, mm -hmm. it's a reason why people walked out and got out of that theater couldn't watch it. Because of the realism. It's also a reason why Passion of the Christ is one of the biggest box office movies of all time. Right. Because really? of the realism of it. My thing is, do I want to sit down and watch a, a little boy <laughs> get massacred the way he did? No, I don't. However, if we're going to make a movie about a massacre, we're going to show some massacre, or we're not making it. Don't make it. Nah, Just yeah. don't make that's it. That's how I feel, too. Because we already are sitting here right now with pain. But that's my thing, T. I don't think, I think the deeper thing in that, because I don't want that. I really don't. I that's don't. why I say don't make it. Because all we're we going to do is just put our pain on a big screen for all the other races to say, damn, them motherfuckers been getting slammed over for years. And nothing will come from this. But, but we're going to get but some new what's gonna come, But what would come from showing it? What would come from showing it so graphic? But that's my thing. Would it help people... Because what would that... I know? don't think that there would be anything to come from it, but that's my beef with it. All right, bet. I'll accept it if we're going to be real with it. I didn't. I frowned on 12 Years a Slave when it came out until I realized, oh, they're going to show the real. If you're going to do a sure. Frederick Douglass... Auto, if you're going to do a Frederick Douglass movie, then you have to show everything from that autobiography. Don't yeah. just show Frederick Douglass off in the corner somewhere. Show us the real... Show them the real... We know the story. Don't scream, please. You're not showing it to us. We know the story. You're not going to show the open casket. Y'all not, not going to do the makeup thing. work for that. Y'all not, not going to do that. But you don't know what they're going to do. You're not going to. If you're not. She's probably, probably going to do it. Right, that's, that's what I'm saying. saying it. If you're not going to go the long route with it, you're not going to show our pain for real. You're just going to show the aftermath. We still sitting with that. We didn't get justice. You can make the Holocaust movies and show everything in it. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all make, because y'all are out of it. Reparations, y'all on top. It's mm. easy to sit back and look at that. We still sitting with our pain. The shit's still happening. And we're just going to put our pain on a big screen for other races to see that we're in pain. Nah, how about we show them what really fucking happened? And, we, and they say, damn, you know what? This is actually some fucking bullshit. Yo, this really happened. That's why we fuck with Lovecraft Country for showing that Tulsa scene. Bet. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, that was real. But at the end of the day, this don't even need to be happening at all. We don't need no we more don't, yeah, We don't. This is the last thing we need in cinema is this trauma porn. It's trauma porn. It is. It truly is. I was watching this bomb-ass documentary on YouTube called... Um, what was it called? I think it's called Why We're Objectified. It's about it's about black men. The joint was crazy. But uh, they talked about my documentary. That's my movies and judgment of the week. <laughs> but they were talking about that. But I do want to say this real quick. There was a brother that hit me on Twitter that said that he was in the movie. I forget his name. I'm gonna try to find his name. But he was upset because I had said that I wasn't looking forward to it. And he said, Damn, I'm in this movie. I was looking forward to your critique. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the critiques that we have in no way shit on the actors, the directors, the producer. Well, you know what I'm saying? Whoopi's a producer, too. The people who are involved just trying to get they, you know what I'm saying, they wits yeah. off. You know what I'm saying? I respect that brother in his career. I'm still going to support him everything he does. His name is Diallo Thompson. Shout out. I'm going to uh, watch it for him. Yeah, I'll watch I might it check it. it out for him sake. Yeah. But... My critique for the movie, it still stands tall in what I believe. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. as much as I want to support you, I don't want to support that. I want to support you, but I don't want to support that. Yeah. Because I don't want this, to, this trend to continue. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. So, 
just wanted to give a, sh- a slight shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if this is this could be your first big joint. You know what I'm saying? And we're not trying to shit on it or persuade people to not see it. You know, if you want to see that, go ahead and do your thing. There's some people that work real hard on that movie, I'm sure. So yeah. Did you hear Beyonce? You heard Beyonce album leak? I know it's out today because it's Friday, but um, Wednesday it leaked. Damn, for real? Mm-hmm. And the people are kind of like, I mean, you know how her fans are, bro. If you listen to the leak, then you're lame. Yeah. But, like, they're, like, getting people's pages taken down. Nah, report, for sure. Report. That's how the beehive's supposed to work. They were like, this is how you report somebody. They putting out instructions on, on that joint and everything. Damn. You can't even find links no more. They was on top of that. I think it's just real petty, though. Like, why is this happening? Break my soul leaked. You know what I'm saying? Break my soul leaked. Remember, it leaked earlier than they just put it out. It, like, came out. It was like a 30-second clip, and they was like, is this the new Beyonce? And it really was. I guarantee it's probably going to be something as far as, like, somebody was supposed to clear something. Somebody was supposed to do something. Yeah, y'all know Beyonce don't fuck around. She don't fuck around with stuff like that. Your career is going to be gone. Um, But um, we did put out some a favorite tracks video on YouTube. Yes, sir. Um. And at the end of that video, we had some jam sessions that are coming to the Patreon, man. It's going to be real, real special. And it's not going to be forever. It's literally within the next 12 days, 12 days or yes, so. Sir. And look, we'll a lot of people were up. thinking that we're going to do a three verse three. Nah. You know what I'm saying? That graphic was maybe a little misleading, but we're going to be doing three separate jam sessions. We three got separate. Ross. First up is Ross versus Future. Second up is going to be Ghana versus Baby. Terrell has been talking trash about this. Terrell talks so that's much That's going to be a tough one. I was telling Terry that's going to be tough because these niggas are, a lot of their hits are together. Right, but I told you he's sleeping on, on Ghana. Baby is the bigger, to me, hit for hit, he's sleeping on Ghana. And then we got the big dog, K-Dot versus J. Cole. Been a long time in the making mm-hmm. for that jam session. I cannot wait till that one drops. That one's just going to be dope. And look, y'all know me and Terrell have done this, and we do this, man. They doing verses because of the shit that me and Terrell Jolly like started. I don't yeah. give a fuck what you say. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some of our content, I feel like early on, has inspired this whole yep. versus aspect. And I feel like with th- with these artists, I was telling Terrell, we ain't never going to see these artists get up on stage. Even the Usher Chris Brown joint, we could come around to. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. yeah, you might not ever really get that. But uh, definitely excited for these next couple of videos mm-hmm. we're doing on the Patreon. Y'all got to sign up, man. And definitely give us uh, more suggestions for other verses because I want to do more than that. I want to need somebody to go up against Travis Scott. People are like, why not Thug versus Future? And I'm like, those are both Terrence's favorites. Thug would get... Oh, that would be good. Thug that would be good, though. Y'all are sleeping on Rick Ross. I will tell you that, though. I'm not even going to listen. Everybody listen is saying, oh, it's not even fair for Ross. It's de- if if we talking verses, I don't know if y'all know how verses works. Raw. If we go track hits. for track, if we go track for track, it's it is. We not gonna sit here and act like Two Chains kept up with Ross at all. He didn't. He did. Two Chains got smoked by Ross. He did. No, he did. That was not a good verse. That was not that a good pair. But Two one. Chains had some moments. Did yeah, a lot of them strippers moments, but the stripper he was throwing the money. Man, that was iconic. <laughs> Future got Future definitely got hits, but mm, Ross see, is that nigga. But we gonna have fun with that one. That's the first one. That's that. Did you see the? Uh, you the, keep asking me. Did I see shit, Terrell? Yeah, because this was funny as shit that happened. The black the black dude that was at the January six riot. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it that. was one black dude that he got the longest sentence of everybody. That just goes to show yeah. that you need to keep your black <laughs> ass away from motherfuckers. That's it. No, for real. That's the most craziest <laughs> shit ever. The craziest shit ever. This black ass got the <laughs> longest sentence. Oh, who was that? Him? <laughs> we gonna get his ass. That's the bad thing. Hey, look, that just goes to show, y'all. We got it twice as hard uh, out here. You can stand I'm by right there with them. The system reminded y'all black ass who you really was. He got a longer <laughs> sentence than the motherfuckers that made it inside the joint. No, this really. motherfucker was just out there probably. <laughs> <laughs> he got six years, right? Five something, for six years. Something crazy. Some hell of a long month. Man, this shit is crazy. Hey, look, I do got some sports. Okay. Some sports? Yep. Okay. Unless you wanted to talk about the other joint first. We was going to talk about that, but we getting kind of long-winded, but it could be a longer one anyway. You wanted to talk oh, about what, the, the friend uh, group joint? The friend group joint. Yeah, we can talk about it real quick. It's going to be crazy. No, we can talk about that because that was honestly like, ah. It was it was basically this thing that was going around that was like when you the chick said when you meet his friend and he, and he's not the leader, right? 
basically saying when you meet up with your your boyfriend's friends and he's not the leader of the group. Right. And that joint was like, okay. So let me ask you this. Yeah. In your friend group, do yeah. you feel like a leader? Would you consider yourself a, the lead, the head of the group or the leader of the group? I, Niggas, you grew up. Think about all of our friends, everybody we grew up with. We, me, see, that's the thing. Me and my friends don't link enough to have a group leader. But do you, man, hold on, wait, though. So, no, I don't feel like a leader of something of a group when we're not always together. We all got our own lives. But do you think, okay, when y'all do get together, who's the leader? There is no fucking leader. All right, bet. That's what, that's and the, you know what they're going to say? You're he's not, <laughs> just not the leader. <laughs> and I thought that was bullshit. And, that's the, and that was the biggest thing that, that, that came out of that. I don't know what y'all think about male friend groups. We don't have leaders. I can tell you that. Look, what, what is it? Who makes nah, the hold on to Terrell. Some do. Nah, but see, this is what I was going to talk about. Those are not friend groups. Okay. If your boyfriend works for a nigga, look, they were like, they be, they're laughing saying who's the leader, but they're the one that's running to the store for their friend. He's an employee. Yeah, he's an employee. I would never not not run to the store for nobody. None and of my I, friends are running to Right, and you would never make any of your friends run to the store for Fuck you. Fuck no. Those are not friendships. Y'all talking about employment. Y'all beat, talking about beat runners and beat runners and 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 those are niggas are working. Your boyfriend might be the employee to a nigga on the street, but those not friend groups. Like think about the movie The Brothers, right? Yeah. Who would be the the leader? You could think. I guess it would be Shamar Moore. I mean, he was getting married. He was kind of the one that was setting shit up. But, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause look, he was a uh, he was the analyst, whatever. Okay. Yeah. But the Morris Chestnut nigga was a whole doctor. Bill Bellamy was a lawyer. D.L. Hugh, Hughley was a, um, did something with a suit on. Yeah. These niggas was all, no, you can argue any one of them was the, the leader, but there wasn't one. Men don't have, we don't have leaders. We just all be, everybody be chilling. Even a nigga like me that would, like you might make more than your man. That yeah. doesn't make you the leader. You might set shit up. You're not, we don't look at it like that. Y'all friend groups is like that. Let's keep it honest. This dude said, what's the leader's job on my Twitter? And this girl put, seen it at the club a couple weeks ago. Honestly, wherever that nigga moved, the others followed him. It's honestly obvious. Sometimes we might be, like when I went to the lounge with my boy Sean, right? I'd never been here before. So Sean would say, hey, yo, let's go over here. Uh-huh. Or unless we're going to go do this. Oh, hey, yo, we're going to move from this booth. We're going to go to these tables right here. That doesn't make him the leader. Just because... You see two niggas follow another nigga around. That doesn't always mean that he's a leader. You ever been to a party with your girlfriend, ladies, and you don't know nobody there, so when she go this way, you go that way? Or, you know what I'm saying, you there with somebody? Mm -hmm. It's just a weird-ass mindset to say, oh, he's not the leader? Nah, what yeah. are we in fucking sixth grade? No, nah. let's keep it a Honda. Terrence, who I, really be having a leader? Who really has groups with That leaders? comes from women. Ladies, let's keep it a Honda. I'm, I'm only saying this shit from experience. Me too. I've dated two Regina George. My two, the relationship I was in in 2017 and 2015. I remember, I have, I, there are times in my life where I've been laid up with a chick and be like, don't you need to do something? And she'd be like, I'm going to just tell such and such to do it. And I'm like, she going to do gonna that for do you? That? And she was like, look, if I tell her to do it, she's going to do it. And guess what? I remember them 2017 days. And I definitely had an easy viewpoint on... Regina George and all the Gretchen Wieners, all the motherfuckers, they say you about, you say you about to go somewhere, and then all of a sudden she changed her mind, all of a sudden you not going. And you was real life looking forward to going type shit. Mm -hmm. Now you don't feel like going. Y'all be really the ones. Y'all the ones that really have <laughs> leaders and always going out in groups. I don't even see my niggas like that. Right. We don't look at each other that way. It's never been that for us. Y'all got that. I done dated a few Katie here. And you know what? We could just say it's on both sides. But that's why I tweeted the audacity of a woman to tweet this. Y'all the ones that will do anything for y'all no fuck boy bullshit. ass friends. You ever talk to a girl, bro, bro, talking to a girl that's a follower like shit of her friends, do whatever her friends say, your girl start talking different. I got a relationship. Start saying different shit out of her mouth. You're like, when the fuck you start saying that? Oh, because she starts saying that. Now you Oh, saying, yeah, she doing that. You oh, think why that, the fuck? When the fuck you wanted to start doing this? Oh, because she wanted to do this. And then low-key, the tweet 
is real. Before, you know what I'm saying? You ever get with your girl and her friends and realize she not the leader? Nah, for real. Like, yo, low-key, we should have tweeted that shit first. Nah, because that, that shit, that ain't, that ain't really... Y'all can say what y'all want. I'm just telling you mindset. You could talk to these niggas that you think follow or whoever. Like, look, you might have a man that gets becomes a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Your right. man rap, he got more clout than all of y'all. He don't look at y'all as his followers and I'm the leader. You know what I'm saying? Nah. These yeah. niggas, like, think about Nip. Nip didn't think he was the leader of, what, Kabi and all the nah, niggas that did. was with him. He but did. But, Terrence, he would never look at them like that. He would never treat them like that or it would never be that. Nah. He definitely Do said. you think they would say, yeah, Nip is our leader? Yeah. No! <laughs> He no way. Dad, not a good example. <laughs> One of my favorite lines from They call him the leader? Uh, they refer to him as the leader? Or the, as the one in charge type shit? Legendary moves. Leader of my crew. Heavy is the head that with a crown. That shit true. That's different. Do it like Nip Hustle. That's to fill some big shoes. Don't talk about that, man. That's we thought different. it would double up. So it's crazy That's you bring that up. He is definitely maybe the example. That's why I say maybe there's certain situations. Well, you can see what girls talking about. Yeah, you might not be with Nipsey. You might just be with with somebody else. But I get, it's okay. I get it. We just want to say, yo, that coin got two sides. That's all we gonna say. And that other side is a little shiny. That sharp. other side, shiny to the bit, shiny and new. We had to say, is this a penny? We flip it over and say, oh yeah, it Damn is. Motherfucking That's cop, side. copper as fuck. <laughs> outside, beat as hell. Is what kind of coin is that? I don't even know. <laughs> flip it over to y'all side. Oh, we know that's a penny. Let's get sports. Go. Turn up, man. I want to give a big shout out. Big, big shout out to the women's track team. T.T. Terry, Jenna Brandini, Abby Steiner, and Melissa Jefferson for smoking Team Jamaica in that 100, uh, 100 meter relay. What's good? Oh, for real? It was a I real, it was Jamaica real hush. Real hush on the TL when that happened. I, I just found that out. I said, hold up. They was hush about this one. A shocking loss. Did Shelly run? Shelly ran and hurrah run. Hurrah. That one last year beat, beat uh, she beat, what's her name? Um, she beat Shakira and them. Won the gold medal. She ran. And so and so and so Jackson ran. Bro, they got smoked by Team USA. I thought, ja I thought Jamaica just won like hella medals. They did. But in this latest relay at Worlds, they lost. And I didn't look, that's the only one I'm going to talk about. That one, I mean, we know Sydney McCoglin. Or McLawlin. McLawlin. <laughs> she doing her thing with the hurdles, doing her thing to 400. Allison Phoenix. Allison Phoenix doing her thing with the relays. Mm -hmm. Trevor Shout Noah, only 26 years old, broke that track record. Shout out to the track. Oh, I saw out there. that. Yeah. Hey, y'all know I'm trying to keep up. I try to keep up with the track ladies. Y'all know we got Shorty from Panama sure? that was looking crazy. Yeah, Shorty from uh, <laughs> the Bahamas looking crazy. Hey, fellas, if you're not in the women's track, first off, it's competitive as hell. Fun as hell to look at. And look. What the fuck else are y'all watching? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know how I, I've been watching this for a minute. Uh, just to flip the script, more ladies is more. My sports is really, really the ladies. I want to give a shout out to the Las Vegas Aces. Just won a Commissioner's Cup in the WNBA. Hey, look, shout out to y'all. The Audrey Commissioner's West, Cup? Put that in NBA terms. The Commissioner's Cup is not an NBA. I don't think any other league has it. It's like a mid-season or, or it's an in-season tournament that they play in the WNBA. It's not uh, like the finals. So it's just like college where you nigga goes to the uh Jai Light. You could go, you could when y'all can win y'all jam your shit, but then then it's right before the real joint. You know what I'm okay. saying? So they won. You know, the Aces probably one of the best teams in the WNBA. But guess what? Guess who beat the Aces in overtime last time we played them? Big Mystics, turn up. Hey Mystics, what's poppin'? But look, shout out Kelsey Plum, Aja Wilson. Uh, Terrence Chelsea okay. Gray got the got the MVP and one Ladies, of my favorites. Congrats, Pierre Hamby. Turn up, that's one of my favorites. Y'all look, I'm not reading nothing. There ain't no WNBA on this. Uh, just one of my favorites. Uh, I like the Aces, but guess what? We about to smoke y'all come playoffs, and you know we got our shit going, Mystics. So turn up next year, maybe we win that. We get some tickets. I'm gonna get some tickets for the real games though, like the playoffs, because I haven't really been able to. Lock in and find out which game I want to go to. I've been trying to keep up with the games. I always can catch them on TV, but I gotta figure out a game to go to. But you're right. I need to get to a game for sure. Yeah, it trust. It'd be easy. So real, no, the fuck it won't. Tickets are sold out a lot. <laughs> so fuck you, nigga. Fuck you, boy. What the fuck do you even do or support? Give me a sports thing right now for sports. She Shout has nothing. 
Shout out, um, what? Exactly. He don't got nothing. I don't really have anything. Football. Look, I'm waiting for football season to come back. We're about, we're less than 30 days from football. So, and I just wanted to give a shout out to the ladies. Y'all know I support the W. I support y'all know women's track. Hey, I just want to talk shit to the Jamaicans. You know what I'm saying? The Jamaicans was not letting up during the Olympics. You know, this was a this was a shocking relay. This man talking shit about one race. They smoke us every time. Nah, they did. We, but that's why I said we finally got our W. Oh yeah, we finally got our W. <laughs> Trust me, because if when we beat the Chiefs this year, I don't give a damn if we beat them once. I don't think y'all are gonna beat the Chiefs. Right. I think y'all are gonna be some bum ass niggas right. with the same squad from last year. Pat Mahomes has his worst receiving call he's had his entire career this year. Ah. We're going to see. When that first option gone, what he do? Fuck it. Tariq. Guess what? You ain't got him no more. Yeah, he just has. Now uh, see if see if Juju going to be down there. Oh, see if what's the other dude he got from the uh, Packers? Uh, who, SBJ? Man, this well, nigga about to be S some dogs. Valdez. You know Scantling. who you forgetting for real? SJV. You know who Valdez. you forgetting about for real? Big Andy. SBJ. Y'all don't have Big Andy. That's why y'all lose every year. Because Andy Reid is on that other side, yeah, all boy. All right, going to see. You had, where you had Tariq. Now you don't got Tariq. All right. Your best year, look, his five, his, his MVP year, we got MVP. Who? Pat Mahomes. Yeah. What Mom you got to say about Big Andy? Nothing. He's certified. Who is y'all coach? Andy has Some looked Some bum-ass nigga. First of all, Nathaniel Hackett. OC from the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, it's going downhill. Come on, guys. Let's, we're going to play. We're going to play hard. Gonna all right, play. yeah. Y'all about to see. You all the basic we shit Papa Papa was saying right, year one. We're one of the most put-together teams in that division. Fuck with us. Papa Russ. You see him with the Michelin Ness 3 on? I'm getting that. Yeah, you know what? Let me show some respect. Y'all will see me sitting here in that soon. Let me show some respect to the Eagles and Cowboys. Uh, our division is looked at as NFC least. Everybody talks shit about our division, but low-key... The Eagles are a problem. We haven't seen that problem yet. Jalen Hurts still got to prove himself. I'm the sorry. The Eagles might be a problem. And the Cowboys? AJ. Hey, they supposed to be top NFC? Why are we the least? So we got the worst division. We worse than some other NFC East teams? All right, yeah. And then, look, the Eagles, we have to see. Well, not NFC East team, but, you know, NFC? Vontae Smith is a beast. The defense is going to be shot. AJ Brown is a great value DK Metcalf. Which is actually pretty damn Let's good. Let's talk He's about good. it. Let's not do that. AJ Brown was the best receiver on the Titans. Yeah, well, but guess what? That was that was Derrick Henry's team. Okay, so what the fuck is Jerry Judy? Right. Tan. All right. Somebody can say the same thing. So you talking crazy? He got, hurt. He got hurt. hurt. he got hurt. But AJ Brown is a dog. You can't just sit there and just try to downplay AJ him. AJ Brown is a baby D baby DK. You keep comparing him to DK. I got baby DK. He's not better than DK, but he's damn good. He will come to the Broncos and definitely start over y'all bum ass. He receivers. will not. He will not. He will not. Start over who? Who you gonna start over? You're starting over one Not five? Tim. I'm starting over one. You're not starting over court. Yeah. You can have K you can I have KJ on the spot. Sideline with me. Yo. Y'all got a oh, we got no, the most Broncos, slept on re receiving court in the league. We got the most slept on receiving you court. You know, we we're out here and we're gonna do our best. Just wait, man. I fucking hate I'm these playing. motherfuckers, man. I fucking hate But I, I got just, one foe with me. I got big CC. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> CC on the sideline. Shit. <laughs> Baby future. Go long. You about to see. That baby, man, baby win. that man that you're talking about, just watch. We're going to be a motherfucking problem this year. Fuck y'all niggas. I don't want to hear anybody else's takes. This man, nigga's still writing shit down shout like out this. to the WNBA, man. Only a W. You see it. Movie, shout out to the WNBA. Movie suggestion of the week. Quick, let's get it. Movie suggestion of the week is going to be Donnie Darko. It's on HBO Max. Let me tell y'all, this is a movie that came out, I believe, in 2003. I got you. Keep going. Um, this movie, this is for my folks that want that. That that note type movie. You want that movie you're gonna watch and not even get. Came out 01. You're gonna watch this movie and think you get it, or you might think you get it, or you're probably gonna watch it and not even understand the fuck you watching. But when I tell you this is a cult classic, I rewatched it last week or a week or two ago when I had COVID, I rewatched it. I didn't get it. It's got Jake Gyllenhaal in it, Maggie Gyllenhaal. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Seth First of Rogen. all, it's star-studded. Star Seth Rogen's in it. What's the dude's name? Uh, Patrick Swayze's Patrick in it. Patrick Swayze's in it. <laughs> so, it's a it's a real crazy movie. And I'm telling you, if you watch this movie, this is for my fellas out there, my ladies who love movies. You might be watching your favorite movie of all time. Shout out my boy Sino. My boy Sino got the uh, the Frank tattoo. Oh, you know yeah, 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 Frank yeah, yeah. from... Uh, Y'all will see when you watch it, but Jake Gyllenhaal was like 
It's that movie. My boy got a tattoo because of that movie. You could be watching your favorite movie of all time. Just gonna leave it like that. It's gonna confuse the shit out of you. And I'm gonna stand it like that. But it's good. One of the, I love it. It's like, it's like it's like one of those movies where people be like, anybody in here seen that? And then when y'all agree, y'all have that talk. Y'all like, have all right. that talk like, okay, you the real. You, you seen you some real. real shit. Yeah. Fellas, you want to sit your girl down and just have her looking dumb as shit the whole time, and then you get to get in your bag at the end of it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, cuz. You didn't see the joint? <laughs> you probably didn't see the tweets that they had by that dude with his arm around the girl, and it was like, see, Donnie Darko, see, it's about. <laughs> it's one of them movies where you can definitely, like, that and Memento is one. It's those two movies where you be like, "See, you ain't even. Whew. You know, Memento, my go-to. Like, Memento yo, was watch great. This joint. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, we need to watch that. Now nah, my girl already seen it. I don't like watching shit with my girl. She done already seen it. The worst thing ever is when you watching some shit with your girl and halfway through you excited to show her some new shit. Halfway through, halfway she, through she say, "Oh, didn't this the movie where he is he about to stab her? You like? Oh my hold god! Up. It's like, hold on, wait. So, so you, you have seen, seen it? it? I'm turning it off. We watch to something else." And she don't like watching shit that I've already seen. We only watch it's shit that horrible, It's horrible to watch something that you haven't seen. Nah, my girl is hands down the worst person. Babe, I'm not going to shoot you in the podcast, but look. D- 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 we was watching motherfucking uh, Stranger Things, right? Season four. This is a little spoiler, but not really. They remember they had the fireworks? Yeah. Everything went awry. You forgot about it. And then all of a sudden, boom, they saved the day with the fireworks. Remember? Damn, you ruined it for niggas. I said this is a spoiler. Oh, my bad. But yeah, I know what happened to real. So right away, th- oh, they gonna have the fireworks. It's like, all right, I'm not watching this shit. I, oh, we not doing this shit no more. My movie suggestion of the week is called um, Old. Shout out to Tianka, one of our supporters who who told me about that joint on um on Twitter. I, I went, I, we actually saw that in the theaters last year. But first of all, do you want to see it on my list, Terrence? Because I didn't even update this. Terrence, do you see Fresh? You see how I had Fresh and then I also had Old? It was my one for next week. Bitch ass nigga. And I actually seen it in the theaters. I saw Old in the theaters. M. Night Shyamalan. M. Light Shyamalan. Came out last year. Um, It's just a crazy ass movie, honestly. Hey, look. Everybody that hit me about identity was like, I'm not taking you in recommendation no more. That was ridiculous. You enjoyed it. You enjoyed that ride. That and shit was I crazy. Identity does have a terrible rating on, on what's his name, don't it? It has like a 30-something rating on Rotten Tomatoes, no. don't it? No way. For real, it does. Identity does not have a good rating. Remember we were saying, we was like, damn, it don't have a good rating. Tan, do you think about something else? Nah, we thought it was good, and then when you look at the Rotten Tomatoes, joint, it has a like a 14. It has a 63% tomato meter and then 75 audience. All right, but you know what? That's not that, that ain't bad. terrible. That's not, That's not what I was thinking about then, yeah. But old is terrible. Old is terrible, but it's one of the movies where you, if you on a date night type shit, you'll enjoy it. That old, now old did terrible on Rotten Tomatoes, but they always kill M. Night. But it's got some twists and shit like that, and so it's dope. Basically, the movie is about some people that go to this island, and you just start aging fast as fuck on the island. Like, every 30 minutes is like five years. So, motherfucker, if you go to sleep for eight hours, wake up 40 Damn, yeah, see, that's the joint that I'm, that, you're right. And I'm this is what I want you to remind. Joint. People go to the island with their kids. Now, think about it. You're a grown-ass man. Over the next five years, physically, you're not going to change that much. But imagine you have a five-year-old. You know what I'm saying? Damn, yeah. You might not look as different five years older. But your five-year-old. Your five-year-old now look 10. Damn. That right, joint crazy. Bad, 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 bad. Seen that joint in the theater. HBO Max. Check it out. And that's it. Turn up, man. Movie suggestions of the week. We getting lifted. Yo, shout out to everybody who supports us on YouTube that watched the jam session. Turn up, support the Patreon. Red us now, we in the building. Episode 111. I hope y'all enjoy y'all weekend. The books. Man, we was arguing like fuck with this. We was some pushback on this one. No, we not. I hope y'all enjoy all the arguing, arguing sales. Leave your comments. <laughs> See Love that. y'all next time. Listen to that Beyonce. Let's get it.